where a collective of individuals have gathered in the far recesses. After a few hours of study, they could hear the heavy footsteps of two larger armor-clad grandpas coming their way. Speak <laughs> hey, for yourself. I'm a father first. Mm-hmm. Good for you, bud. <laughs> you just jealousy me as a father and you as a grandfather. Mm-hmm. They hear Solomon say, and that is why oak wood is the best wood. <laughs> See? It's not so hard to understand. <laughs> <laughs> I was never arguing. I just like hearing <laughs> Solomon go off, because it's really amusing. Hey. Kiana, like, dismisses the chalkboard that Solomon had her <laughs> summon for him. Tedra just kind of like looks at it, she's like, okay, but what about mahogany? How that no, don't, up? don't make him start. Mahogany what? <laughs> mahogany is not good for puppet making. The wood is too hard. I... What are we even getting ourselves into here? I turn Don't around ask. and shout at Abraxas, It's too hard, Abraxas! <laughs> <laughs> Young man, phrasing. What are you talking about? Oh my god. He's six! Exactly. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This puppet is six years old? <laughs> the puppet is only six years old. D yeah, I'm six. I turned it just a few months ago. Hmm. <laughs> is this one of those things that I don't and will never understand because I have yes. no concept of reproduction? Okay, yes. yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, right. Well, to catch you to uh, basically, Solomon's been teaching his puppets a couple new tricks. Oh, yeah, I, I fixed I fixed some. <clears throat> Mm. He fixed his depression pup into actual puppets. Oh, that's good. Oh, well, well, yeah, gather, gather, gather the heck around. <laughs> Hachi pulls out of his pocket um, a bunch of little tokens, and each of them seem to be uh, ironically wooden and glowing with a slight orangish light. Ooh. Fresh off the cooking board, fire resistance runes. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, ho, ho. I kind of lean back to Kiana and I'm like, How many do you think I'm allowed to take? I think you only need one. Not my puppets. Oh. How many of them do you have? I have six. I'm probably gonna have more soon. Mm. <laughs> Hachi clearly only has six. <laughs> mm. Hachi just comes around and starts setting them down on each of the desks next to everybody. Another one over to ten right here. Shoves one over to Kiana, mm. Solomon, and Chain. Oh, I thank you. Solomon kind of mm. flips it up and then puts it puts it uh, in his, one of his pockets. Takes out, let's say, oh yeah, this is the most wood. Huh. <laughs> Connects strings. Huh. <laughs> Neat. Chain looks at the puppet. So is that made of wood? Uh, oak wood? Is that this? Uh, yeah. I mean... What? Well, I, actually, I did you. I did. <laughs> I will. I will say I did use spruce for this one. It just works better for the theming. It's the aesthetic. I see. All the other ones are oak, though. See, just because. See, here's the thing. Just because oak is the best, there are some things that other woods are better at. See, mahogany is hard. Yes. <laughs> I mean, sure. Mahogany guardian was great. Yeah. Exactly. Puts away puppet. Mm, so many <laughs> elbows of Braxis. <laughs> we were uh, gonna test them out. Yeah. I'll yep. make sure they work. Yep. Uh, well, wait. Did you say you're not sure if these are gonna work? What? Looks up. Maybe. Who wants to go on a field trip? Who wants to go first? <laughs> Hold on, I have to put the chess game away. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, takes peace, moves it there. <laughs> After the field trip, we're deciding this up again. Joel's gonna close the notebook and uh, tuck into his fanny pack. <laughs> so, where are we going for the testing? Oh, just... do you think there's anywhere around here with a lot of fire? Oh, well, uh... I just assumed we were going to go see Pyrrha or something. No! No, she's busy. I already talked to her. Uh, but 
there is a place I know that would be a great place to test these out. We're going to the fire play. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, I like the name of like some sort of sauna. Uh, like I said, or something. Okay, uh, how do I explain this to Joel? We're going to a different part of Texas, Joel. <laughs> like southern Texas. Let's call it that. Yeah, southern Texas. Well, if you we were talking about real extreme temperatures, we'd be heading to Death Valley. Oh! See, that's funny you say that. <laughs> Technically, there is a place here called Death Valley. So, yeah, stay away from there. Uh, it's just some dungeons. Uh, does anyone... Keanu would probably know this. She studies a lot more than the rest of them. Can we hey. Rude. <laughs> wow. I take offense that you think that I, I've been studying lately. Have you been? Maybe. Yeah. I guess that the fancy. Abraxas, I am disappointed about you regarding your doubt and the rest of us. This week I've learned two words. Uh, two words. 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 <laughs> Where did I put that notebook? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joel, you put it in your fanny pack again. Shoot, it's probably lost in there. Wait, uh, what language <laughs> are you learning? Why do I feel like he's gonna say something weird again, like German? What's a uh, German? I don't know, he said that once. Just, just hang on. Let me, let me get a little bit more tone before, before I say anything. I wanted to be a surprise. Oh, very well. Uh, essentially, uh, as you all know, or at least some of you would know, the fire plane is littered with dungeons all over the place. Just like Arizona. I did know that. Yes, just like Arizona. What's in Arizona? I don't know. <laughs> Solomon kind of leans over and I'm like, I think it's a zone of air. Like, it's probably. It's prob yeah, it's probably in the lab winds. Oh my god, is that don't, what's underneath the lab winds? Doesn't anybody here know anything about the United States? No. no. The we know that you have apparently a Walmart. So like yeah, air, fin, fire, air, some, something along that lines. You know, is it in the United States? Also, you've said something about a place called Ikea that sells incomplete sets of things, which is fucking weird. He, didn't he also say that it like is always missing at least one piece? Yeah, exactly. Incomplete All right, guys, sets. I think we're missing the that fucking point. Come on. <laughs> I'm willing to stand up for Ikea any day of the week. Oh, no. Let's get the lead out of your legs. Uh, Come on. I don't. Come on. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Which way to Arizona? Oh, Hachiro. Hachi puts his hands on his hips and just kind of walks off with a sort of like, uh, you know, like, st <laughs> how do you call it? Purpose in his step. <laughs> He's hurting the children. Solomon gets on Abraxas' shoulder and is like, kind of flaps one one pair of his arms and he says, Cacaw. <laughs> you like being up on top of the tall? I'm just making a fucking falcon white joke. Dude, I miss the falcon white. Dude. Yeah. Oh, it's so sad how many you lost to that bastard. Uh, Joel is going to wave uh, down at these three, down the center here. In the, yeah. in the center. Denim waves back and is like, oh, hello, you fuck. <laughs> Hi, Michael! Hi! I'd return the set in a minute if there weren't so many kids around. But she's looking down at the ledger and the crow, and she's like, No, no, seriously, you don't have this book in stock. I don't know what you think you're talking about, but that's the wrong volume. Diversity. What? We're going on a road trip. Um, Alright. If you Where? need us, we'll be back in uh, about a day. Okay. Don't get killed. Try not. Arizona's a dangerous definitely. place, but hey, that dangerous. Just as long as we all bring a base. The recommended <laughs> two gallons of water. Would you need any books for your travel? Oh no. Solomon says, We're going to the fire plane. A the waddle, Virgil just slams her head down as he leaves, like, God damn it. <laughs> Denim Den does something similar and says, Oh my god, it's impossible to talk to that guy. I'm oh, no, right, I'm glad you fucking agree. Comes over. <laughs> Denim says, eh, I mean, he's, he's pretty lovely. 
may I introduce you to some light novels? He pulls out a fan of books and shows it to everyone. Oh, uh, uh, no you know, We're going to the fire plane. Those are going to burn. These are... Hmm. You have a good point. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm sorry. Bye, yeah, Virgil. Like relaxed as soon as the crow walks away. <laughs> you know, at least we expected a thank you for not purposely burning his books. No, it's the crow. <laughs> you think the crow is gonna nothing. thank you? He won't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi, Gabe. Ah, goodbye. Tenor actively averts his case from Gabe. Later, alligators. Bye. Have fun wherever you're going. Gabe looks to fucking Octavia, just like, did I do something wrong to the red-haired one? No, I think he's just guilty. Ah. Wait, hold on! <laughs> Octavia's oh. here, I want to do something. Oh my oh god. No. <laughs> oh no. Octavia's going to step around Gabe and just look at Ted Rear and... Not fully draw back her bow, but she's gonna draw back her bow. <laughs> she's gonna activate her wizard power. I <laughs> choose oh, an emotion. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never Can mind. Can I do something? Can I do something? Yeah. If you fire the arrow, uh, Joel's gonna catch it with Aunt Philly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. He's trying to. Hey. That girl asked me to. Don't even think of anything that you're not intending to shoot. Well, it wouldn't do any fucking damage. Octavia just grumbles. Chris just stares at her aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> I was hired for a reason, and that reason is to make sure the tieflings don't fucking. Never mind. Why are you shooting bow indoors? That is no weapon for indoors. What are a weapon for indoors? What is a weapon for indoors? A dagger? No. Small weapon. I feel like a dagger is pretty indoors. N not the point. Why did you shoot him? <laughs> indoors or outdoors, you shouldn't be shooting Tanner. He doesn't like Wait. that. People were trying to shoot me. What? Who was trying to shoot me? Jane tries to pull Kiana out the door to avoid this situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, from the bottom you hear De uh, Denim say, "Okay, so if I use my wizard power on the crow, would it make someone actually fucking useful?" <laughs> People have tried it before. Doesn't work. Ah, again. Fucking down. Well, that's okay. Uh, Gabe will like kind of like just put his hands on me. Like, it's it's all right. It's all right. Um, <clears throat> Octavia was just trying to do her job, which is make sure the two of you stay happy. And maybe not act so fucking guilty around us. Him specifically. What shooting with arrow? Arrow does not help with it happiness. Actually hurt. It, it, it doesn't actually hurt. My it doesn't. Here, uh, it's okay. an arrow that is just. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Hit me! <laughs> with, oh. <laughs> she pulls out a dagger and stabs Gabe with <laughs> I meant with your wizard power! I did! Oh! Him with happiness. Oh, wait. I feel no different. I'm already happy. Hmm. Chris narrows her eyes. And I'm having a hard time believing. She holds uh, up the dagger. It glows blue. She pricks Gabe. He's sad. <laughs> he just kind of like does that thing where the straight back goes into a hunchback. He's just like, oh, I feel so bad. We're giving a horrible explanation. This is all my fault, isn't it? Three, two, uh, it should be wearing off about now. It straightens back up. <sighs> okay, I feel better. Uh, well, I mean, you two are impressive actors, but we're only leaving now. It wasn't acting, but. So just like please it's... don't not shoot, then, Rhea. Thank you. Solomon leans back and says, Yeah, just prick his finger. Don't well, take away my guilt. That's part of me. <laughs> well, maybe if you w you wouldn't feel guilty if you talked to him. I'm working on it. Come on, then. What do you feel guilty about? 
I killed his dad with everyone else, and I still haven't gotten yeah, over so that. so did I. And I then know. I brought him back. Who? Oh, I... His father. Who's his father? The dragon. Is his. his father is Argus. Wait, what? Argus is dead? Yes. Ah, oh, I understand. Oh, oh. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't notice that? I mean, I thought the scales on him gave it away. Yeah, the resemblance was rather uncanny. Yeah, and the fact they talk pretty similar, too. Yeah. <clears throat> I just guess not... A... <clears throat> I forget that people can have other people that are like small versions of them. I only see <laughs> that with Solomon often. <laughs> Chris, it's everyone... a shame that Pris never met my mother. I... It's a shame none of you met my mother. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You guys are oh, the man. slowest fucking hallway walkers I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give it a rest, Hachi. Mm. It's not a race. We're all going to the same area. We're all going to the same place anyway. Solomon looks over at Kiana and says, "Oh yeah, we never got to meet your mom. Maybe we. Uh, maybe we should have had someone fucking bring her back." <laughs> no. You guys should re really meet the rest of my family one of these days. That'd be awesome to meet your family. Dang, you guys are actually just my the <laughs> mm. <laughs> Solomon kind of mumbles. I don't think he understands what that would mean. You guys suck so gosh. Wait, Hahacho met my mother. Mm hmm. Alright, see you fuckers later. <laughs> he activates the portal. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, are we absolutely certain that these are gonna work? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you all disappear and. Somewhere in the plane of fire, close to the capital cathedral city, and close to a um, firestorm desert. On a craggy outlook atop a mountain appears a portal, and a group emerges. Urk. Yeah, that should probably be fine. <laughs> Kiana's well, like bracing me. herself. Open oh, the eye. You're all aware that it's excruciatingly hot, but it doesn't hurt. You're just aware of that fact. Tenry looks very pleased and just like, ah. Uh, like, Kiana looks I'm very thinking. uncomfortable. Solomon looks around and is like, oh my. You know, Wait, I... we're here already? She yes. looks at the ground like, uh... is it safe to uh, touch this thing? Yes, yeah, so Solomon kind of leans down and is like, wait a second, aren't we touching it through the portal right now? Uh, did anybody happen to bring any uh, water with them? Oh, don't worry, I have a water skin at least. Gingerly touches her foot to the ground. So Solomon leans it down on his knees and then pokes the ground with a single finger. Hmm. Joel suddenly pulls a cooler out of somewhere. Uh, all, all I've got, all I've got is beer. But I'm sure it'll work just as well. Oh, God. not the beer again. Is this water? Yes. Yeah, it looks to be warm, bubbling, frothy water. I wouldn't drink any of that without a filter, oh, son. Don't, don't. Yeah, it's definitely only warm water. It, it's a hot spring. How hot? Yeah, in the fire plane. It's probably boiling. I used to come here all the time, so, uh... You're a red dragon! <laughs> Someone looks around and is like, looks at swords. Looks at one of those clothes. Where the hell are we? Oh, uh, it's my old get away. Okay. Your old get. Solomon walks over here, looks at the clothes, looks back at Abraxas. Yeah, some of them are definitely very. Well, Solomon, can you roll me inside? Yeah, uh, these aren't large dragon clothes by any means, and your best guess is that they're actually female clothes. Uh -huh. And then one's like <laughs> Hachi's overcloak, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Solomon looks at that and is like, okay, well, at least Hachi's supposed to be here. Oh. <laughs> Are they dry? He starts, like, taking the female's clothes down and folding them quickly. <laughs> Solomon look, looks around a little bit and he's like, okay, so because Hachi's cloak is there, I will suspend my disbelief that we are currently home invaders. No, no. She would be okay if we were here. Well, 
I used to, I, well, I do still live here. This is my home while I'm here. Okay, looks over at Giant Sword. Looks to Abraxas. Okay, yeah, well, that does make a bit more sense. Oh, that one's not mine. Really? Oh, yeah. Too fucking big and unwieldy. That was hers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um... <laughs> Oh, fuck, did he put it again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solomon has broken. Keanu waves the hand in front of Solomon's face. Solomon. But, what, but that's big, but, huh? Joel, are you looking at the this little Yeah, I was, looking, I was looking at the fruit. the fruit. Um, it's not fruit, actually. It's a bunch of cacti and sand. Okay. Huh. It seems to be a small farm plot, if you had to imagine. After a moment, the uh, remnant of the portal disappears. Hmm. I imagine one of it would be one of the green leaves. Well, they look inedible. Solomon looks back at the portal that disappeared and is like, how the fuck are we supposed to get back? Oh, I've got uh, Rufus. Yeah, Yeah, but that's hopping planes. Rufus is going to be in, out for like months after that. I can draw a portal that take a little time, though. Okay, well, just make sure that Pris doesn't die. Chris puts her feet in the water. <laughs> Tenor has had, like a hand and it's just like kind of melting into it. Like, oh, this feels nice. Kiana's going to stick a, like, the very edge of the tip of her finger in the water. How hot is it? Um, it's actually a pleasant, warm temperature, but as you stick the edge of your finger into the water, you definitely hear like a shadow shriek in your head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, she pulls her finger out and just like grabs her head. Oh, ow! Uh. So Solomon looks down at the, the water, looks back at Kiana, looks down at the water, and says, "You know, I don't even like going into water normally, so I'm just gonna stay the fuck away from that." Let's just avoid the water. I'd rather not get wet. Oh, I, I think you guys are fine. I don't know what the fuck that was. Chain puts a hand on your shoulder. Are you uh, all right? Kiana shakes her head. Does the pain subside? The, 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 I'm assuming it was loud enough. It was very it. loud, very uncomfortable, but it's slowly like ebbing away, kind of like a headache. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Um, can she? <laughs> this is a new experiment. Can she stick like her whole hand in? <laughs> her whole <laughs> hand? Her whole uh, hand. Can you roll me a constitution save? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> well, that's ironic. Okay, you take one psychic damage as an echoing scream reverberates around your head. Okay. Strange. Um. <laughs> Solomon looks over and is like, "Why did you do that? What? A experiment." Well, okay. Well. Okay. What do you say we look uh, for a uh, place? Or for a way to get down from this mountain. Solomon looks that way. <laughs> down. Looks at this whole area down there. Looks at Abraxas. Looks down at Kiana and kind of whispers, Is that his horde? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Abraxas is like folded the clothes and just flies into the cave. <laughs> and starts like putting them to the side. <laughs> A Braxis has a horde? <laughs> I mean, he is it's pretty old. Like, 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 should we not, like, enter and, like, 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 like make him mad or something? I mean, I it don't... makes sense that he has it. <sighs> oh. Tenor wants Tenor, so Tenor, Tenor, don't touch that. Don't touch the cactus, Tenor. Don't touch it. What? Don't touch don't it. it. It's not worth it. Tenor don't grabs the cactus and takes it out. No. <laughs> Grabs one of the little spines on it, punctures it, and starts to drink. What, what are you guys so worried about? These cacti are perfectly harmless. Solomon pokes it. It's a cactus. <laughs> but if you yeah. let it... Uh, huh. Oh. Well, I, I, I'm made of wood, so, like, puts an entire hand on it. <laughs> oh. You notice that Chan has gotten down onto her knees and she's kind of just like staring at the cacti with like her hands on her chin, just like very invested in learning what they are. <laughs> They're like really sweet, Chan. If you want one, you can. Oh, wait. They're not mine. Kind of looks up the one in his hand. Uh. 
<laughs> removes all the spiny bits and starts to chew it. Just pulls a press and just like, hum, hum. <laughs> I've really sweet in the world. <laughs> Joel's just like rubbing his head at this, like, well, what are you all doing down there? Stealing food. Ste Nothing of the sort. Don't worry. <laughs> Quick, Nothing Tara. new. Hey, your face. Tara's like trying to like shove the whole cactus and it's nothing failing. It just gets in the way of him and blocks his sight. <laughs> the branch mm -hmm. just comes down and lands just like, you realize I plant those so you don't really have to worry. Holds her arms on the other side. You cannot see him. We didn't take anything, so what's there to worry about? Yes, just make sure you leave at least two. Is that way you need to keep making more? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that and the spines if you remove them, which is proper etiquette. Chain holds up a finger. You have a tool specimen to reproduce? Yes, it's kind of similar to how corn works. One pollinates the other, and then they make more. <sighs> well, this is cactus we're talking about, not corn. It's, it's cactus corn. It's weird, Joel. This is fire plane stuff. What do you, uh, Weird in Arizona. Uh, Miss uh, Braxis, what do you cause this? If you let them ripen too much, they explode, so... Bomb Kai? Oh my god. She kind of puts a hand to her face, slowly stands back up and steps away from the cacti! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. They are nowhere near too ripe. Uh... See, I follow a direct schedule whenever I plant them. Also, when they explode, that's kind of how they spread seeds as well. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. That's why you leave two. One will, you know, fertilize the other, and then when it and, explodes, and it spreads explodes. seeds. Oh, wow. Well. Well, that's a bad. Hmm. Plant a couple of May, and it'll be ready right for July. They're also a very sweet plant. Uh, they're used a lot in confectionery things and whatnot. Like pineapples? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. I didn't expect to be getting so many plant facts here in Arizona. How do we get off of this mountain? Oh, easy, there's a ladder. If you want, I can take you there now, or we could take a small rest as such. Doesn't matter. Why well, rest? I was already sitting down for like four hours straight. <laughs> Alright, follow me then. I can show you to a ladder. No rest, only fight. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to find something? I don't know, probably. With us, you never really know. We're gonna be fighting our inner demons. Solomon knocks on the wood. That's, that's the best, I, mean. <laughs> I can probably make something out of, something out of this type of wood. That's no, you're not using that tree. I'm not using the tree, I'm just studying the type. Okay, good. Solomon would see, like, a small little carving near the bottom where his face is. Oh, what's this? Mm. Here lies tinsel. Solomon kind of opens his mouth a little, looks up, and is like, Uh, huh. I get it. Solomon says, there's more trees like this somewhere else, right? I mean, I can see a lot of them from here. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Solomon, when you look at this tree, uh, occasionally little licks of flame erupt out the cracks in the eaves of it. It almost looks like parts of it start to engulf in flames occasionally and then just put themselves out. Huh. Got it. That's, that's interesting. Make a fire puppet. Yeah, fire puppet. Chain kind of pokes Kiana's back. It's like... Mm. Did you mean anything by that? Are you alright? I'm... I'm trying to be funny. Mm. Can I make an insight? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh, Rip! <man. laughs> Rip! Oh, no. You have no idea. Damn it, she <laughs> believes you. Alright. <laughs> Here does Solomon know. Solomon also does not know. He's a, he's a bit more of a hint than Chain, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Solomon can notice that Kiana's still wincing every little, every once in a while, for, like her head hurts. Hmm. So, Kiana, you've been working on poetry again? Cause wait, you just said. 
building with such sense of impend doom and danger. <laughs> yeah, actually, she pulled out her notebook. Yeah, I have been working on poetry. Oh, well, good to hear. That's weird. I never understood poetry. <laughs> <laughs> it is very nice if you get the time to read some. Tanner leans into Kiana's ear and just whispers, Do you need a hug? <laughs> Kiana grins. Always. So, so, <laughs> Solomon just kind of mumbles, Do you need a hug? Do you need a hug? Oh my god! You guys are wonderful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. go to another map. Kiana in Solomon's head just goes, Do you need a hug? Oh, do you need a hug? Kids, no hugging on the ladder. That's dangerous. I know. Tanner hugs Kiana before she goes down the ladder. And we'll hug back. And then he'll make sure she goes before him and Shane, and then he'll lean down to Shane and be like, you should give her a hug. <laughs> um, hold on. I need to roll a con save for Miss. I don't, I don't touch people. Hold on. <laughs> that doesn't seem good those, enough. <laughs> it could be one of those awkward hugs. I was going to say, I feel like that's one of those Christian side paths. <laughs> <laughs> God, I feel per- I feel like- I don't think she could even Christian side pet with that. <laughs> no. Once you guys get down to the bottom of the ladder, you reach a craggy mountain pass that seems to be partially filled in with sand. As you continue down the pass, you get closer to a large expanse of desert. In the distance, the skies are a moody red. There are pillars of flaming magma and mountains lining the horizon. Occasionally in the distance you can see spurts of flame coming from the dunes themselves. They're high, pillaring, mountainous dunes, so seeing from very far is difficult. Um, as you get to the bottom of the ladder, Kiana, she'll just kind of attempt to take your hand in hers. And hold it reassuringly. Ah, that's adorable. Hmm. Kiana will take her hand back and squeeze. Her face never faltering from her happy smile. Hmm. <laughs> Also holding Pris's hand and thousand yards staring at everything because fire plane. It's so warm. Solomon looks at everyone else holding hands. Solomon holds his own hand as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. The Arizona wilderness. What Texas wishes it was. So, I've been here before. Uh, we talked at the flower shop. The flower shop? Yeah. I see so flower That's remember. foreboding. When we first came in, uh, it looked like the dude, the skeleton behind the counter, was selling flowers. So, you know, flower shop. So it's not a flower shop. It might have been at one point. Kind of looks like it, but... Uh... Braxis... How many dungeons are in this place? Uh, let's see, Sol and I at least explored 184, so a lot. That is a Never lot ending. of dungeon. God damn. Hmm. Well, yeah. Whenever we were here, we would try to... Is this a hard dungeon? I practice things for a moment. <laughs> How do you be able to tell from the outside? He's going to just have that horrible, awkward smile and just like, I think so, probably. You'll have fun, gives a well, thumbs up. Everybody, look at this over here. I didn't know they had Greek ruins in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Links back to Kiana and Shay. What's a Greek? Mm. Maybe this no, type no, of no, class. Guys. guys, it's like the spell. Greece. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Yeah, sure. I'm 
Which I'll go stand in the middle of this thing and look up at the ruins. Yeah, it looks like an archway kind of carved and supporting on the shifting, turbulent sands of the Firestorm Desert. It's old and the winds of the dunes have covered over the sigil beneath your feet, but you can just barely make out runic etchings around in the runic language, all surrounding the entrance of the dungeon. Abraxas make sure to kick some sand over something that Tinsel probably carved out there saying, this place is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> and what you see here is a small stone staircase leading up to a simple wooden door that looks windswept and ancient. No markings, just a door. Makes me wonder what kind of civilization used to live here. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, there was a time when we found uh, these spices and whew, she had way too much fun with that. Yeah. Hey, Solomon. Yeah? Why don't you contact the crew? He might know a thing or two about ancient civilizations. <laughs> <laughs> you can listen to what he has to say while we explore the place. Yeah, okay. fair enough. Maybe the crow pops out. I open the crow's beak. <laughs> you want to dial the crow? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would like to dial the crow. Solomon's Mimicro has a psychic connection to the crow and can call him at any point. <laughs> <laughs> the crow picks up. Yes, what is it? I am still trying to fix my ledger. We found an ancient civilization thing. There's going to be not any books on the ancient civilizations of the so-called fireplane. Can you give me any identifying traits about the dungeon? Um, uh, looking at lots of pillars. Uh, oh yeah, big insignia that we're standing on right now. Hmm. Can you give me a visual? Uh, um, I tap the crow eyes on the crow. It looks down at the um the sand scrolls. Hmm. This is an ancient and powerful symbol. From my research, this belongs to the Flame Dynasty. A royal family. Oh. Pretty, uh, pretty standard name they picked. Uh, I do not hey. believe they realized the name of the plane they came from. Yeah. yeah. People of the fire plane are kind of, oh, points of tenor, straightforward and blunt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should take offense to that. No, I Probably. it's okay. Mm -hmm. I think it makes sense. <laughs> she pats Tenor's shoulder. <laughs> and if he gets embarrassed, he'll kiss him on the cheek. <laughs> he has a like pouty face of like, I want to say something, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> and the kiss just makes him blush even more. Well, thank you, Crow. You are welcome. Now, if you'll please, I must get back to my research. All right, have fun. Would you like to hear what I am researching? I close the beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was going to have to listen to another freaking hour of that. <laughs> no, not an hour. Oh god. That is the power of being far from something. You do not have to listen to him. I wonder if they left any gold inside those ruins. Oh, probably. It looks oh, like you boy. had enough to fund one or two more bakeries up there, Braxis. <clears throat> I'm gonna enter. You're just gonna mm -hmm. open the door? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> well, lucky you, the door literally falls f falls over backwards and whoops into the room that you're opening it up into. Nervous sweat from Brack. And a, ca and a cavernous room opens up in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'll just follow him. I wonder if this thing on the carpet means welcome in Flame Dynasty. Uh, it's either welcome or get out. It's probably just a pretty rug. On your right is, um, yeah, what looks like a massive steelish door inscribed with a bunch of runic markings all over it. And straight ahead is a wash of an array of little metallic cylinders that occasionally sput out of the ground and then go back into the floor. In the midst of them, a collection of bones rattle. And you can barely see the glint of metal at the end of the hallway. Ray, a skeleton. It's just one skeleton, guys. No! 
Do you think it's real? No more skeletons. We got rid of all the skeletons in our closet. Well, there's a skeleton in this dungeon. Wait, if there are skeletons in there, then we can smash the skeletons. So do the, like, the cylinders look like they might have been like, worn down spikes? The cylinders definitely look like spikes, yes. Oh, oh so they're just spikes. They are just spikes, yes. I was just describing it from a perspective of someone who might not immediately recognize they are spikes. Who wouldn't recognize them? <laughs> I don't know, maybe Pris? <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, you know? Fair. Pris would just be like, ooh. So why is the floor poking over there? No, she's not going to. They're not soldiers for cones. Oh. Have fun with the first one. You said there's like a steel door? Mm-hmm. Real heavy steel door here. And ru with runes on it? Uh-huh. Press. Ta! Ta -ta 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 -ta. What is up? Oh. Point rune door. Rune door. Rune door. She starts to get up to the door and starts trying to decipher what the runes are. Hmm. Oh. This, uh, this is a... These are runes of ceiling on this door? Huh. So it's locked. Yeah, magically locked, but also... Do you think it has anything to do with that big old... Uh, thing over there. Joel, they are the same runes that are used on the, the outsider ceiling, Magic. This is a bad place. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I cannot disagree with some small food when it has a negative energy in the air here. Uh, that's fine. I don't know. <laughs> kind of d elbows Tenrir and says, "Yeah, we don't want to. I don't want to let free another Morpha." <laughs> I, um, does it, I mean, uh, it could just be that it's holding back. Uh, I don't know. It, a skeleton army. It seems like more of a seal that's trying to keep people out than trying to seal something in. Some would say skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> Your pocket rumbles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Yeah. Hey, hey guys, you talking about scout? That's my forte. Oh, we're just we're just uh, pondering what could be behind the store with ceiling runes on it. Ah, uh, probably skeletons. Right? Nah, uh, it's totally skeletons. Yeah, over there. Mm. I'm I'm giving you an 88 to 90 percent chance of skeletons. Mm. All right. If I had to make any guesses, you don't recognize this place, do you, Rufus? There's no giggleage here. Ah, no, the Giga Lich is like, eh, four blocks down. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, the Giga Lich! <laughs> oh, yeah, you, well, your Giga Lich has nothing on the freaking Fire Lich. Huh? in the corner. You think a Giga Lich is weaker than a Fire Lich, bud? You got another thing coming! Yeah, a, gig a Giga Lich isn't weak to fire. A Giga Lich is weak to fire. nothing! Uh -huh. And that's why it took like the entire Plane Hoppers organization to take one down. That's why the only thing to kill me was a Giga Lich! <laughs> <sighs> okay. We'll talk to you again soon, Rufus. Ah, okay, have fun dungeoneering, bud! <laughs> I love Rufus. I miss Rufus. <laughs> Rufus is good. I have to agree with Joel, though. I think it's more of trying to keep people out than something in. Hmm. Maybe what? Maybe that metallic object over there will somehow let us through. You hear like an Maybe. electric sap as Pris, Pris, Pris pokes the door. And just, pssst, ah! Yep, that seems like it. All right, I'm going through the spike room. Wait, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not unless like any of you can fly or anything. Joel, as you come up upon these spikes, um, now okay, the weird thing about them is. It's pathetically easy to put your foot in between them and walk through them. <laughs> like, there's no difficulty for if you just wanted to walk forward. Is it possible that Solomon could actually just walk through because he's small? Oh, a hundred percent. So Solomon just kind of walks over the skeleton. Is it even real? Can you roll an insight on that skeleton? All right. Uh, it's a real skeleton. I don't know. 
Joel? <laughs> Someone picks up a bone. Yeah, Joel, that skeleton? Nah. It's it's definitely real, all right. It's it's not punctured in the feet or in the legs like you'd assume. It's punctured in the chest cavity. Hmm, I've seen plenty of real skeletons in my days, and this is a bona fide real skeleton. A bona fide real skeleton? Uh, I get it. Yeah, you see what I did there. Uh, anyway, I don't think the spikes are what we should be worrying about here, Solomon. Huh. Oh, all right. Something tells me that this guy was shot. Hmm. Not from where? Hmm. Maybe from the wall where that thing is at that you're going towards? I'm gonna look at the walls. <laughs> ah, yeah! Alright, um, just the walls? I'm gonna look around at the walls around, like, uh, you say it was shot in the chest? Oh, it looks like there's a puncture hole in the chest. I did not say shot. Okay. If there's a puncture hole in the chest, then I'm gonna look around the walls at, uh, chest level. Okay, I'm gonna just flat out tell you, you don't see anything at chest level. Uh, yeah, it's probably just like Indiana Jones, like a little, uh, rock like slides away and reveals a crossbow and it shoots you and you fall dead where you're standing. Hmm. At the end of the hallway, what this looks to be is, um, a large red throbbing potted plant of some sort. A throbbing plant? That definitely looks like a pitcher plant. It, it, it does look yeah. like a pitcher plant, in fact. There's a little faint light coming off of it, too. Does it have a soul? Um, you want to turn on your solo vision? <laughs> yes. Solo vision sees through walls, right? Yes. You see an overwhelming mass of souls through this wall. Oh my, there's a lot of souls behind there. Uh, like plant-type souls or like animal-type souls? Um, there's probably a big difference in those. There is, and Wesley, oddly enough, uh, both. Both. Oh god, are we fighting what? live bear with vines? No way, I don't want to mess with no symbiotes again. <laughs> god, you guys might get to see Bear Blender. Oh uh, yeah, you might see it yet. Yeah. Can, we, can we just like, take blender. like a couple hours to set up another one of those things? <laughs> you say it's a plant, Joel? What? Put that down in the hallway? Yeah. I mean, I guess so. Do you see anything like in the skeletal structure that's like maybe vines or spikes or uh, stuff from a plant maybe? Nah, if there was any plant matter in this thing, it would probably be gone by now. True. Mm. It's the fire plane though, we don't know. I could go try to stop the plant. Besides, mm. what plants live in Arizona that look like that? It's just not trustworthy. Hmm. I'm gonna go touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Touching it is a bad idea. I think, anyway. Nah, I'm not scared of no plant. Go, oh, Joel. <laughs> Besides, one way or another, I probably wouldn't end up going through this door. It didn't seem like there was a way around the structure, unless we want to go over it. Hmm. Any thoughts, team? Go touch the thing. Touch the thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's everything uh, so I many you've been outvoted. I'm sorry to say, but I'm gonna go have to touch the thing now. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Be careful as it's if plant does not attack you or something. Don't worry, I'll touch it with a gloved hand. <laughs> Alright, you get up to this pitcher plant, Joel. And you do notice that inside the pitcher pots, there are little glowing orange lights. It's as if inside of it is... Magma. Oh. Maybe I'm not going to touch the plant. That looks like straight up 100% lava. Okay. What's in the center of it? What do you mean? It looks like there's like a center structure here. Ah, well, it's in I a. I like this red thing sticking out. Oh, okay. That's like those are like the flowers. Um. Oh, okay, okay. What the plant is in though is a pot filled with ash. Ah. So what do you say the odds are that there's something buried in that ash that we need to get through this door with? Probably high? Maybe. It doesn't seem like there's anything else around here. What about those that are urns? And don't go breaking no urns now. Oh, let's look try at the to preserve urn. the history of this place. Alright, Keanu, you I come... Look at the urns. Yeah, you come to look at the urns, and... 
inside of them you see withered old dead plants. I got some dead plants. Is that it? Is there just dead plants? Like what are they what are they potted in? Um, again, ceramic pots and they seem to be in ash. Huh. Do you think they eat flesh? This uh this might be a long shot, but do the spikes spell anything? <laughs> no. Damn. I like your um, thought process also. though. <laughs> Joel, you mentioned searching the plant. Did you want to do that? Did the lava feel hot? <laughs> it's lava, yes. Okay. So the whole like fire resistance thing probably won't help much. Against it lava. won't help much against lava, but you can be near the lava and be fine. Okay. It'll probably burn you like if you've stuck your hand into a fire. Uh, what if I put on Aunt Philly? I um, wear Aunt Philly as a glove. Because that's fire Aunt Philly resistance. is a forging glove. Yeah, I could say With Aunt metal. Philly. Aunt Philly can yes. go in. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll admit Aunt Philly. Okay! Yeah. I'll admit Aunt <laughs> Philly, I love that. That's really good. That's now, cool. do I dig through the ash, or do I go into the planet itself? If I were to suggest something, I think going through the ash might kill it, so... Do not do that. Explore the plant. <laughs> Be very careful. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to make a plant discovery here. Press readies to stab the plant. Yes, please. Um, I... animal handling. <laughs> yeah, roll animal handling. Sure. <laughs> yes. All right. As you handle this animal of a plant, you stick Aunt Philly into one of the pitcher pots. It submerges into the magma, and as it submerges, you feel something clinking around on the bottom of the pot pitcher plant. Bingo. Uh, I'm going to try to pull it out of the plant. And you pull out a glowing silvery key. Well, well that wasn't too hard now, was it? What kind of fucking dungeon? I'm waiting for the crossbows that's kind of coming out of the walls now. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Nothing comes out of the walls. <laughs> huh. Solomon looks at the bones and says, Maybe it was just a fucking idiot and he tripped onto a thing. <laughs> Maybe these spikes used to be bigger than they were. A Praxis is just in the corner, kind of doing that. <laughs> so I don't have to stab the plant? No, we don't have to stab the plant. Jade looks out of sight of relief. Whatever, I'm just gonna go around the spikes now, because... I don't want this key to be a harm ranger of my doom or anything. But it has an adverse reaction with these here spikes coming out of the floor. Alright, who knows? Maybe the spikes get angry if I'm carrying the key. <laughs> Everyone watches as Joel shimmies through the spikes. I mean, you can never really know with these ancient civilizations what they might have been up to. Yeah. Spending all their time making spikes get mad at people holding silver keys before when they, they all just disappear. I... what? Okay, yeah, I was just gonna lean down to Solomon and be like, did you see anything with your soul vision? Uh, there's a bunch of animal and plant souls behind that thing. Huh. Like, tons. Ballpark estimate? Over a hundred. <laughs> Breck is just sipping on a water skin. Excuse me, coming through. Ta, stop the door with the silver thing. Brack just kind of starts to clap a little. It's like, yes. The water is skin, yeah. <laughs> is that alcohol? Totally. <laughs> like a drunk dungeon dead. <laughs> Alright, are you putting the key in, Jill? Yeah. Oh, uh, Brack, just be honest with me. Yep. Is this a dungeon designed for little babies? <laughs> no. Because we are experienced dungeon crawlers, the all of us. And that's the term that you want to use. Sips the water skin. I don't know what you're talking about. Abraxas, you were through the towers with us. Don't act like you don't know what you saw about what we were talking about. Open the door, Joel. It gets better. All right, well, maybe I will. Joel, as you put the key <laughs> in, with a satisfying kathunk, the runes hum out of existence, and the door slowly slides open, revealing a staircase heading down. Ooh, it's spooky stairs. Ooh, wow. Well. Who's first? I've had my fill of fun for the day. 
I'll go first. As a spirit, Kiana. I will follow. Kiana's gonna... Should I assume there's traps on these stairs? What do you oh, guys think? Yes. Uh, look at how they're colored. Hair. <laughs> it might it might just be the aesthetic of the place, but uh, don't trust aesthetic to not be a trap. What if uh, the pattern of these spikes over here is the pattern of oh, traps on the stairs? <laughs> they are relatively the same length. Okay, yeah, it it, it lines up. <laughs> So I'd say start in the center. Okay. Kind of will summon a shield. <laughs> okay. Step. step, yep. Staircase next has got the best of us. Uh, Alright, so... The next Kiana's eight stairs in front of you Wait, might you be just trapped. keep going, Kiana? <laughs> yeah. Kiana, no! <laughs> Kiana! We figured out! <laughs> Roll a dexterity save, please! Cool. Oh no! Kiana, yeah, no, we figured out the thing! <laughs> Kiana, oh, nice. You're gonna take half damage. So, as you step on this next uh, set of stairs, yeah, they did figure it out. You step on a pressure plate, and out of the sides of the stair come whirling blades that spin up the side of the stairs and slice into you, but you're able to make yourself thinner so as to take very minor damage. And <clears throat> as they reach Tenrir, they slink back into the walls. I fucking told you. Yeah, that just confirms the theory. Half damage, yeah. so you take five. Uh, if you can manage to jump over the next four stairs in front of you, you should be safe. How tall is the ceiling? <sighs> tall enough that a Braxis can fit in here comfortably. So, okay. ten feet. <clears throat> Kiana will fly down the rest of the stairs. Ah, <laughs> not even touching it. I see. Cheater. <laughs> at, what, at what level was the saws? Someone could probably just freaking walk this, couldn't he? No, actually, they were large. Um, okay, I'll pop it back out. They're large, like cylindrical tubes with spikes on the sides. They go vertically all the oh. way, like big rollers. Oh, nice. there's an easy way okay. Solomon can get across. Okay, okay. So Joel, you said down for the first one, right? For the first four, and then the next eight are trapped. So the next four are safe. Then the next four are trapped. And then you should be good. Or as long as you stay in the center. So it's one, and then skip two, then one, then skip one, and then good. So here, and I have to jump two? That's the way it be, Tenrir. I don't make it. I didn't make the rules of this place. Chris angles her head back. Uh, you have to jump two. You can do it, Starlight. Huh. Okay. So, take a step back, try to get a small running jump to try and hit this one and then jump too. <laughs> Alright, dexterity. This is a rather easy jump. <laughs> that is a critical <laughs> failure! <laughs> Didn't get enough run, he bumped into Pris. Tenrare walks back, bumps into Pris, who's going for the, um, the, the, the tiefling kiss of advantage. He, he doesn't realize this though, runs back forward, Chris grabs for him, accidentally trips him, and he falls face first into the trap. You hear at the bottom Kiana to either side, saw plants come out and whir back up the stairs. I need Kiana and Denner to make a save. <laughs> <laughs> Kiana succeeds. Tenry succeeds. Both of you are gonna take half. Five damage to both of you again. As you're cut, Tenry, you lie on the ground. A little bit of blood nicks on your sides as you make yourself thinner. Eyebrow twitch. Kiana, you realize that the very base of the stairs is also trapped, so if you were to just step five feet forward, you'd be fine. Can I step five feet forward? I mean, yeah. Hi, Kiana. <laughs> I think it'd be scary if it was like spikes come out of the wall, roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> the wall is a monster. You are fighting the wall. Spike souls. <sighs> Terror slowly gets up, wiping his face. Okay, so jump five feet. Then. The pay attention to where you are. Yes, just jump over the next four stairs. Okay. Tenor will attempt to jump again. Okay, another dex check. This one should be really easy. Okay, yeah, you're fine. You're able to make it down the staircase. No problem. Following Joel's orders. Boop. And... Boop. Get to the side, just like... Ha. Huh. And you know what? Fuck it. 
Don't act Tara. Ha! Ah, smart. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Yep. Sets her down to the side by releasing Tulnok. You guys, it's turn! Uh, Tenry, you might want to move. Oh god, alright. So there are spikes there. There you go. I'll just channel slowly, come up. She kinda looks down the stairs and nervously sweats. <laughs> if you want, I could, you know, help you down, but, um... Mm -hmm. He points at the ceiling. Why not use some plants to swing down? She just kind of like waves her hand behind her like, quiet. <laughs> you notice she puts a hand kind of on her, like the side of her cheek, and a very warm light yellow light glows, emanating a lot of magic, and immediately her posture becomes a lot more calm and relaxed. <laughs> and she'll try to uh, deftly bounce down the stairs and get to the bottom. And whoop. She lands, opens her eyes, looks around, realizes she's down. <sighs> oh no, I'm four bodies because of my <laughs> puppets. Whatever shall I do? I look at Kiana and start to walk forward. Kiana will place the portal beneath where he's walking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god, how'd I do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a well, smart ass sometimes. Just using, <laughs> using the resources I got. I wouldn't call me a resource. I would. Kanda is <laughs> not resource, Kanda is person. Oh, I'm a resource. Hey Joel, oh. how much do you weigh? Dare I ask why you want to know that? Eh, just keep us for a moment. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, Abraxas. <laughs> Put your arms out to the side and make the letter T with your body? <laughs> if you're worried about me getting down on my own, I'll have you know. I can fly down on my own just fine. Alright, you got Philly. Ah. Very well. Greg just flies back down. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit, so Abraxas will need a deck save from you. You are massive, and you do have large wings that'll probably cover the whole staircase. Ah, you're fine. And I'm not standing there. It's the least five feet away from the spikes at all times. <laughs> Joel, uses on, Joel uses on Philly like a surfboard. <laughs> oh, you were all looking away, weren't you? No, I was watching. I was watching. Chris gives I a saw. thumbs up. <laughs> oh, Braxis was taking a swig from the water skin and does the pinky thumb thing. It's just cowabunga. Phantom of the, <laughs> Phantom of the Stag politely claps. Antonio. <laughs> so what's this thing? Mm, a large pillar supporting the center of this square room. Growing on it, you see a throbbing red blossom. Huh. Solomon, does it have a soul? Of course it has a soul. I died, ask. It has a soul, right? Yeah, of course. It's a plant. Yeah. Yeah, it's a plant. Uh. It looks like another one of the fire plant sings him. I have never seen this before. A flowering plant growing underground? Well, you saw this thing upstairs. They seem to uh, like ash instead of uh, dirt. Uh, right. Was... And the plant itself was full of lava. Mm hmm. Mm. What exactly is needed for these things to grow anyway? It depends on the plant. It looked like ash. Probably is ash of some kind. I'd assume that you don't have to water it. I mean, some of them you water with lava. Is that real? Yeah. Can you use the verb to water in that way? Technically. Sort of. I don't know. Listen, we call them watering cans still here. 
Yeah, but they are heavily enchanted to be able to hold lava. Lava incense. Doesn't have the same ring to it. No. It really doesn't. It does not. Oh great, are these caskets? Ah, oh, 100% sarcophagi. Most empty are smashed. One contains a resting skeleton. Another one more is sealed. Oh, there's a sealed one? Is there a soul inside of it? Uh, you check with your soul vision? Yep. Um, no, there is not. Is there anything, is there any, like, engravings or writing on top of it? Seems pretty nondescript. Okay. Uh, if we're dealing with another trap staircase, this one seems a bit more vague. Or whatever those things are on the floor before the staircase. I feel, I feel like... like that might release fire, fire or something that'll go down the stairs while we try to go down it. Alternatively, if we trigger the trap, it could just be like, oh, hey, you uh, you can't go this way anymore. Fair. Hmm. Also, I noticed that there are torches at this back wall, but only at that wall. Yeah. Are there places for torches here? No. Okay. Hmm. hmm. I'm going to try to move the lid off of this one. Alright. It's hefty. It's really heavy. Can I get a strength check, Joel? Ah, uh, yeah, Joel. Something about this thing. It's too, it's too hard to get up. Uh, a little bit of help over here? Oh. Uh, uh, the water skill comes over to help. There you go. Hands Joel the water skin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Hold up for me for a second. Uh, what's in this? Whiskey. Mm, you lift it. And as you lift open the casket, you see something laying inside of it. Is it a thing? If you'll give me a moment. Is it a roll? Um, you see... Is it a scroll of scrolling? What looks like a Braxis... The best you could say is that it looks like a giant scorpion's tail? Uh, hey. Ooh! Mm. Someone runs over. <laughs> that is immediately interesting. Now where's the rest of the scorpion? Uh. Good question. I would not like to find out. And what do we need his tail for? This was probably placed here for a reason. Uh, I mean, it might just be something cool. Maybe it still has the poison in it. As you examine it, it seems like... Someone repurposed the tail? Like it's hollowed out and turned into some sort of a gourd? That could inject something oh, okay. into you. Oh. Hand that to Solomon. As you like move it around, there's something sloshing inside of it. Yeah, uh, let's not start ejecting each other with this thing. How about it? How yeah, about probably. It? Probably yeah. not. But, uh, Apraxis will, like, pick it up with his tail, sniff it, and hand it to Solomon. What do you Solomon reckon's inside it. of it? Ooh. Uh, poison. Probably poison. Wouldn't yeah. it technically be venom? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it was hollowed out, though, to hold stuff, so... I wonder if you could eat that. No. What? Eat it. Uh, well, I mean... Assuming that it's venomous, it in okay. So here, yeah, it's a, just a shell that's hollowed out. Here's a small lesson for everyone: venomous is it bites you and you get poisoned. Uh, poisonous is it, but is you bite it and you get poisoned. Also, a scorpion tail isn't that good. The rest of the scorpion's better, especially oh. with a little bit of spice. Scorpion. scorpion. So it ain't no. It ain't no lobster of the desert, that's for sure. So <laughs> Solomon kind of looks around at it and is like, okay, so uh, if if we find if I get a scorpion type soul in here, then uh, I'm totally repurposing this thing. That sounds <laughs> amazing. I mean, that's why I said they, he should hand it to you. Scorpion gun. <laughs> scorpion yeah. gun. Does it have like a trigger or something? Um, no. It actually seems like this is meant to be ingested. You mean injected? No, ingested. 
Huh. So we're supposed to eat it. No, you're supposed to rotate the tip and drink it. Oh. So it's a glorified cup. Pretty much, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Solomon, like, experiments with him and is like, oh. Well, the liquid spills on the floor. <laughs> okay, so if you do that way. Guys, this is a cup. <laughs> huh? You look like a tail. Uh, what is, what, is, the, is, what is the liquid smell like? Hmm, it doesn't have a scent. Hmm. What's the color? Uh, it's kind of milky black. Mm. <laughs> Did you just describe it as whitish black? Milky black. <laughs> Which would be gray, technically. Come on, I'm going off yeah. of a descriptor here. Give me a break. Oh, okay. Uh, who wants to try it? Grabs Pris on me, he's like, no. <laughs> Pris already walking towards it, just gets pulled back. <laughs> what? How bad could it be? Uh, I don't know, remember the stag horn? How bad do you consider deadly? How can I remember hmm. stag horn? Maybe it's, uh... Of ancient watering can. You know, this might be a long shot, but uh, one arm, one arm of the Phantom of the Stag goes limp as the crow comes out of the bag. <laughs> this might be a long shot, but uh, you guys want to ask? Yeah, let's see what the crow. Uh, if we got any books about ancient milky ancient ancient liquid receptacles it seems like she was about to say something but just kind of puts her hand out as you pull out the crow so before tapping it sullivan looks over at chain you get you got you got any theories uh if you want to try to uh, identify um my parents for a uh, potion makers <laughs> Solomon uh, stuffs the bird back in the bag and says, literally anything is better than talking to the crow. <laughs> Hands chain the scorpion thing. She starts to look at it. Solomon sees the flaming head of a Braxis slowly fade back into nothingness. She's like, okay, I don't have to destroy it this time. <laughs> yes, uh, so then you, um... Oftentimes, many different types of flowers are great ingredients for uh, potions. And she's going to take an intelligence check to see if she can identify this. Come on, Jane. Fifteen? Okay, that's good enough. That is bizarre. Um, is this is a potion, yes, uh, designed to... Uh, it seems to make you understand the language, also I do not know what language. Huh. That's interesting. So it's like a free vercule without the vercule. For one language. So, so what you're saying is we should probably hang on to it for now. Mm, if you want. Yeah, I mean it's seat wait. <clears throat> Hands it back to Solomon. Solomon takes and says Wait, guys, is there anything that we- is- Uh, Shane, does this seem- do, Does it seem like a vocal thing? I am not sure. Or... I think it is just to understand. Um, maybe a written as well. I mean, I already understand most written languages. You're not suggesting that there might be hidden- Hidden words around this room, which we would need to drink that to see. That's exactly what I'm suggesting. I like how you think. All right. Who wants to who wants to try the potion crazy. first? I uh, think... no, thank you. <laughs> I'll pass. Give it to me. <laughs> yep, hands it to Kiana. There are some things you can't hide from me. It's the intention of making me do this. Yeah. Kiana will drink. <laughs> All right. Well, it tastes pretty nasty. Um, but as I've had worse, but that's bad. As it goes down, your eyes oh, kind of glaze over milky black, just like the color of the potion. And, well, actually, you don't feel immediately any difference, but it probably worked. It probably worked, I think. Probably? I don't, I don't feel any different. Yeah. Oh, what'd you say? I can't understand you. Yeah, eyes are. Uh, hey, Abraxas, you're an asshole. 
<laughs> love Braxis. Queen stop. And I love you too. Pat Pat. <laughs> you know I love you. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, I don't mean to bring this up, but there's no telling how long this might last for. Hey, let's go look around. Alright. Can I just I don't see anything immediately, like, appear on the walls. No, there's no, like, secret writing on the walls. What about the skeleton over here? Are there any books in the bookshelf? The bookshelf seems to have been completely looted. Huh. I don't know how nobody took anything that we might have needed. Yeah, hopefully. Hmm. Tyrus looking at the pillars. Also... Who managed to get past that seal? Loot a bookshelf. And then loot and then seal the door. Yeah. And then put the key back in the flower pot. Looks at the yeah, Braxis. Who would do that? <laughs> no, that'd be I silly. Braxis would do that. <laughs> wait, yeah, is there anything written near where the flower is? I'd have to, Oh, wait, this flower? Yeah. Is there anything written near the flower? Well, you didn't think so at first, but as you gaze in real close, like under the flower, almost in like millimeter wide etching, it's very small. You see the phrase pop blossom. Pop blossom. Is that in. Do I recognize that as a language that I. Like, is this in a language that I already knew, or is this because well, of the potion? The weird thing about it is it's definitely a language you didn't know, but. Because of the effects of the potion, you're well aware that how this works is essentially it's gibberish that turns into uh, digestible words. So it's a It's not even a language. <laughs> so it's a potion of tiefling. No, it is a potion of understanding mad scrawling. <laughs> Wobbly gook. Pot blossom. Get down, Mr. President. Okay. What? Uh, you know, uh, is he making fun of me again? Pop blossom might be. I have no idea. Um, I have never heard of this type of flower. Solomon. Uh, what? You know what time it is? Solomon looks at his pocket watch. Yeah, it's twelve thirty. No, it's crow time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say you're asking the wrong person because I'm the I'm the clock here. So Solomon just reaches in his bag. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Grabs a sheet of paper from out of the mimicro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see how lucky I am. Mm, not super mm. lucky. Uh, it happens to be on corn flies. Oh. <laughs> so he starts reading. Is like oh. Blasted corn loving flies, <laughs> destroying all crops. <laughs> Neat. That's cool. <laughs> Stuffs it back in. All right, what was I doing? Right, crow. <laughs> crow pops out. Ah, I see you have called upon my knowledge. Yes, yes, we have. Please make it snappy. Crow, we're going to need to uh, look up some flora and fauna natives to the, to the plane of fire. Hmm. Specifically anything called a pot blossom. Right, do you know anything about it? A pop blossom. Hmm. I have not heard this term, but I can research it in my books if you will give me some time. How much time? I cannot give you an accurate estimate, however, no longer than an hour or so. Oh, come on, you're the crow. You can do it under five minutes. I, I do not you. think you understand how much information could possibly be pertaining to this flower, but I will do it in 20. <laughs> uh, once you've cleared one more room in the dungeon, he'll tell you what it is. Cool. Hey, Kiana? Mm. I got this stuff up here. What's this? I'm assuming it's rubble. The sandstone rubble? Yeah, it's rubble. <laughs> Maybe there's something hidden on this. Or under it. 
tries to start to clear away some of the rubble, see if there is anything in. You are certainly digging through rubble. <laughs> Keanu will like gently elbow Tedriel like fucking nerd. <laughs> I thought that maybe there'd be something. Chris comes over. I, I will try other side. <laughs> Chris, it's probably just rubble. But what is there this secret floor passage? Chris is covered in rubble. <laughs> She says that to me. She's like, no, that would just be behind the bookcase. Nope, nothing there. Actually, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but actually. Well, if you're looking for secret passageways, I suggest between the two conveniently placed torches. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you, you like it. tap on the wall, Joel. <laughs> you know. As you tap on the wall, a little bit of an illusion fizzles away and you see the vision of a large metal dive from you. Uh, <laughs> uh. Well. Wow. Oh. Huh. Took you long enough. <laughs> Is there anything written on the door? Any gibberish? Uh, there's no gibberish on this door. It's uh, the similar ceiling runes. It seems to be a second layer of them if you had to make a guess. Time to find a key! Well, let's Boy. see. The last one we found in a planet, so possibly in there, but... It might be in the rubble. Could be in the pillar. Hey, yeah. It comes out it covered could be in, in the dust. the scorpion tail and you just have to drink it all to get the key. Hey, you guys know what I haven't done in forever in a day? Mm. What? Have a dumb idea? No, this. Dolnoctera, Kuvera. Ooh, Kuvera. Kuvera boy doesn't leave holes. <laughs> what you doing, Tenra? Uh, I'll be right back. He's gonna kind of take through. Where, specifically? Uh, through this wall <laughs> to see if he can get to the where they saw the bottom of the stairs. Bypass the stairs. Oh, of course. Tenra boy doesn't leave holes. Eat your head. <laughs> out the wall. Uh, oh wow. There's a lot of stuff down here. Hmm. Is there any mechanisms down here that looks like might deactivate whatever those are? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Hmm. So I got nothing on what those things are, but, uh, there might be something down here that has a key. Do you want me to come over there? Yeah. Do you think that a silver key would have a scent to it? Or if you want, I could send Solomon over, and you two could go. Shoot, that could be fun. Solitary adventure! Alright, sure. Are we not going with them? I think we should probably go with them. I don't trust the stairs. Ah, don't knock Tedra. Briss is gonna jump over into Tedra's head. Oh, besides. Yeah. I'd say the three of them should be set together. This place hasn't been so dangerous so far. Oh, I'll just, like... Move you over to the other side of the like over I'm here. Portal him onto the other side portal of the stairs. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the skeleton. Maybe it's got a skeleton key. <laughs> I'll look at the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's certainly a skeleton. Uh, can we? No skeleton key. No skeleton key. Um, you did notice that. No skeleton key. Skeleton key! Uh, interlaced <laughs> through its bones is a. fine. Very small. Color? Red? Orange. Orange, okay. Kiara will not strain her voice and just say in Solomon's head, no key, but orange vine in the bones. <laughs> <laughs> orange vine? Why the hell is there an orange vine? In the bones. In the bones. What is it doing in the bones? Yeah. Mm, really That's nice having telepathy. Weird. I don't have to scream. First off, I'm gonna check down here. Just to make sure if this is what it seems it like, like a, a broken wall. A corner of the hallway is completely filled with rubble. 
Yeah, that's what I figured. Like, it piled up to the ceiling. Huh. That's so weird. That's at least ten feet of rubble. <laughs> at least ten oh, yeah. feet of rubble? Where the, hell did it come? Where, did, where the hell did the rubble come from? Well, it looks like a ceiling collapse if you had to be more perceptive. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Only if you had to be more perceptive, though. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I can't word right now. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> no, it's just fun. Uh, I do this even if you weren't well, sick. I know, but it feels worse because I am. <laughs> We're sorry, Tally. According to the cat, it's just fun to bully you. <laughs> no bully. Uh, no bully. <laughs> no bully, oh, please. This is a bully freeze. <laughs> Too many bullies. Go, guys. <laughs> is there anything on this bookcase shelf? The same thing? situation. Seems like all the books were torn out. Tedrick's like looking at it and like runs a finger along trying to check it doesn't. She's like, motherfucker, already came here and took all the good shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear dad a chortle in your head. <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna freaking raid his horde whenever we get back there. <laughs> Yeah, take all his books, see how he likes it. Alright, well... Tally Ho? Tally Ho. <laughs> Please tell me that is a pillar and not saw blades poking out of the wall. It's a pillar, you dork. <laughs> huh. like, looks at the floor in front of it, just like, oh, you know, that would just be too convenient. Step. And just be careful, then. You do not know what's around these corners. Pierce around the corner. It could be walls. <laughs> Whoa. It, it would be hilarious if it was yet another situation where Joel found an illusionary wall. Who knew that this ancient civilization went to Walmart? They have walls at Walmart. Uh, huh. There's another plant here. Huh. You know what type of plant? It kind of makes me think of the one... The Kiana said was a, what was it, a hop blossom? You know what, I kind of wish to, uh, kind of wish I had someone him with the crow with us in case you got any more information about where that flower is over there. <clears throat> Chain lanes up against this pillar here and you would notice that like vines kind of come out of her legs and just lace themselves into the ground. And there's just this weird aura of magic glowing over her. And she kind of just closes her eyes and leans up against the pillar for a moment. Mm, Nick. Can't all pull out her notebook. <laughs> <Dirt. laughs> the girlfriend of notes. Uh, hmm. Do you think it's safe to walk in front of it, Solomon? Uh, probably. I mean, one way to find out, yeah. I can go if you're afraid. I don't know think his problem. Afraid? Shot me up. I'm not afraid. Step <laughs> forward. Oh no. As you step forward, a rune flares to life underneath your feet. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, you just see a powdery explosion. Everyone at the top, you hear the sound like dynamite ricochet up and down the halls and reach your ears as Tenry goes flying against this wall and lands straight flat up as the flower explodes. Everyone well, else is pushed back does. very slightly. Tenry, <laughs> you take 10 force damage. Huh. Just, just sips and goes... <laughs> Uh, uh, Braxis, are they gonna be okay? They'll be fine. Then, then are you okay? <laughs> she runs over and, like, picks them up off the ground. <laughs> hey, Solomon, tell her I think I know why they're called Pop Blossoms or whatever now. <laughs> hey, uh, Kiana, we know why they're called Pop Blossoms. Because they explode? Yeah. That was that Pop. horrible sound. Pop. P Pop. Uh, pop, pop blossom. Pop. Oh. Pop. <laughs> Brett's is chortling in the background. Stop chortling. Don't help it. <sighs> yes, you can. Sips whiskey. Are you getting drunk again? 
You kidding me? This is the weak shit. I have to stay somewhat lucid. <laughs> You're getting drunk again? I wish. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Bizarre what point. I knew. <laughs> Bizarre point. <laughs> that activates my secret action. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like it'll get activated for a second time. Since Bizarre point. Louder. Joel replaced all your whiskey with water. Bastard. I don't think it'll actually hit against Solomon, but you Me know either. how. Steps. Famous last words. Yeah, seems fine. You son of a biscuit. <laughs> Are those actual books up there? Might be some actual books! Oh, baby! Oh, there they Book are! Book reading adventure! I, I want to go up there, but I feel like that's a trap. Oh, uh, that's but, totally a trap. But knowledge, Solomon. Ten, do not walk into knowledge blindly! <laughs> Listen. Sacrifices must be made for knowledge. <laughs> listen, Pris. Listen, Pris. No. Not even the side of his shoulder. No, you listen. listen. The last time you did that, you were flattened into wall. But, Pris. Uh... Knowledge. There must be sacrifices to gain knowledge. He grabs Solomon and throws him. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> Just Solomon? Just Solomon? <laughs> Alright. That's really funny. Solomon goes flying and slams into the books with a with a woody slap. <laughs> Is it safe? Uh, the Phantom of the Stags <laughs> po pokes, uh, taps Tenrir's shoulder. Hi. It slaps him. <laughs> <laughs> and that was porcelain. <laughs> porcelain oh. slap. Oh. Oh god, the porcelain's want so much worse than his wooden slaps. No, I thought you the surface that I cut up. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore, I'm gonna look through the books. Anything, uh, anything that could be new? Oh. There, oh. picks up the puppets. <laughs> Pris just walks up. Yeah, she just walks up. <laughs> Wait. Oh, so they weren't trapped. <laughs> He drops the puppets just like, are you kidding me? Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. Huh. Peace over your shoulder. Um, yeah, it seems to be a bunch of uh, texts and tomes onto <clears throat> embalming processes and history of the Flame Dynasty. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you got, Solomon? It also Gave talks about there. inside one of the books. It seems to talk about this plant that carries a magma in it, which unveils things that are hidden to the eye. So, magma lens of truth. <laughs> Something along those lines. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Are we gonna eye of Manaha the pelvis? <laughs> Please don't eye of Manaha the pelvis. <laughs> I, uh, I, I say in Kiana's head, Kiana, we found knowledge. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Kiana, Kiana walks tank! fucking straight forward into a spike trap. <laughs> As you step on this line of holes, a spike punctures your foot. You take 19 damage and are bleeding from Ooh. your no, foot. No, 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 no more, no more sacrifices for the second knowledge, please. <laughs> I'll just angrily walk down. Um, Kate okay, kind of just blinks open her eyes and looks around. Peers They're around the corner. Uh, uh. Kiana has the angry limp. I love the angry walk. Doing? She's trailing blood. <laughs> oh, you know oh. where she's going. Sweetheart. Oh god. Alright. Jump over these. You see a rune on the floor, you get to the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Solomon. Don't motions. ask why my foot is bleeding. Oh, why is it fine? What, you, you wanna There's a get well? Through right, her right. foot. <laughs> Alright. I can, I can just. I can, you want me to heal it? Okay. Uh... Someone eventually is going to force healing onto me. Chris gets closer. 
Please don't do your life transference thing. <sighs> I, Fine, I wait twitch. for the people that can actually use magic. I'm getting better, she eyes to You are getting better. <laughs> so I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. You're grabs a book and good. angrily starts reading it upside down. <laughs> Press your point on me, but upside down. What does that mean? The the book book upside down. down. Oh, no. Flips the book. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, God, she's incorrigible. Jane will follow Abraxas and Joel, and she'll just like. Look at the spike trap. Step over the spike trap. <laughs> Step over it, yeah. Yeah. Just, I feel bad. Just oh. Step over the set says blood on the floor. Oh. <clears throat> Don't worry, I got this whenever I get to her again. Oh, she's hurrying <laughs> forward. I sense a dad. I sense a dad coming for me. Quick, you got a dad hide. and a girlfriend coming for you. <laughs> You cannot hide from two dads. Fuck. You may the be able to avoid the one, threat. but there's always going to be another. <laughs> <laughs> all the healers are coming for me. They all I mean, the healers approach Kiana aggressively. <laughs> Chain pulls out a I'm healing staff. I'm feeling self. very threatened. Kiana, you realize you're hiding behind a healer too, right? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> He's one of them. Five of you run a Felix that could get infected. <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm okay. No, you am not. <laughs> she points at the blood trail. <laughs> okay. Clamps a hand on her back. <laughs> Menacingly. What are you gonna what are you gonna do to me? <laughs> Hill 19. That's what I thought. <laughs> you don't need to pour your healing into me. Puts the, the healing solve back into her pockets, just like why would you resist healing? It's... Spite. Points at Tenry. I think she gets it from her brother. <laughs> Guys, this book has words in it! It does have words. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Pris! <laughs> wait a second, let me see that. Hey... No way, she's right. <laughs> Solomon has picked up the one book with pictures, and he's like, "Oh man, you guys got words." <laughs> Tenor grabs one of the books that talks about that plant and just shoves it in Kiana's face. Read this. What's it say? Any gibberish? What's it say <clears throat> about the plant that can yeah. see things that are invisible? Yeah. Well, there's not any gibberish in this book. Well, it's it's just a book. There's no uh. But, what if we go back to that plant, if that plant at the top of the stairs is it, and you look at it? I don't know. Maybe? I don't know, maybe there's another plant like it down here. There was another way to go. Points back from where they came. Well, it seems like this way's blocked off, so we should probably go down that the other way first. Yeah, probably. Uh, like... We could try to dig through it. I mean, yeah, we could. If we want to, I do not know. That's cheating. It's not cheating. cheating. It's rubble. You can move it with hands. Yeah, what if the only key to that door is behind the rubble? I doubt that that's the case. Yeah, and how would you know? Yeah, like you would know, Praxis. I've done these dungeons before. Well, not, you know, fully this one, probably. I don't fully remember, but I've done dungeons like this. Either way, I'm, I'm going this way. Uh, Kiana, you're not allowed to, like, go through an obvious trap this time. Eesh. I feel like they're gonna walk on something again, and I'm going to just chortle. I can hear that. I can hear the future chortle. <laughs> the future chortle. Ho 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 ho. I'm gonna assume these stairs are safe. I'm assume... This place tries to kill people, so... I don't know. Mm, they seem to have... It door? seems so far that there's been mm -hmm. at least one trap per room. Well, there's a door here. Now, this door is different, Kiana. It has a large magical display of four square blocks. You notice... In this urn down here, 
There's like uh, a wooden stick poking out of it. Which urn? Down at the bottom? The one at the very bottom. There's a stick in this urn! <laughs> Terry just starts walking towards it. No. Don't be a <laughs> stick in the mud. It's not mud, it's probably ash. Don't be yeah. a stick in the ash. <laughs> you want me to grab it? Do Love not grab it. the stick. That was amazing. Are you sure? <laughs> His head is like hovering over it. What if we need it? Alright, so as you come up to a tent rear, Joel, uh, it's not a stick. It's a paintbrush. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it's in some sort of a red liquid. Uh huh. Has Ita Sensei been here? <laughs> Anger in the background just. I hear someone said a name I hate. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Should we? Pulls it up. Do you want to try to paint something with it? We'll probably figure out a use for it later. Paint a pretty picture. I will respond then again that there are four of these square blocks in a row. Why not? Why not five? Because there's four, four of them. <laughs> Let's paint a fifth one just for fun. Oh my god. <laughs> there's square <laughs> tiles. In the door. Oh. What do, wait, what do we know yeah. about the plants with the, the uh, like, magma lens of truth? Oh, maybe you need that to see what you need to paint on it. Yeah. It reveals a paint by numbers. Oh god. Put brush back in the weird red liquid. Dang it. Alright, I won't paint anything yet. Oh well, there's always tomorrow. Kiara, do you want me to step on this staircase first to see if it's safe? <laughs> <laughs> Not while I'm next to it. I think I have a step back from the stairs. Trust me, I will be here in case you need healing before you use everything else. Hello, flower. See another flower on that wall. No, that will like, explode. Back off, Kiata. I've got this. <laughs> God. What are you gonna do? Are you just gonna take the explosion again? <laughs> Don't take the explosion. No! Just take a step back. Oh, this one's more advanced though. There's spikes on that wall. Yeah, should I cover my ears? Tenrir looks for like a rock and just tosses it to where the ruin would probably be. You're gonna toss a rock? Yeah. Like here ish? Yeah, about there ish. Okay, you toss a rock, it lands there. And then he points a finger at the freaking flowering cat's firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really dumb. Okay, you launch a firebolt at the pop blossom, and it explodes in a cacophony of dust and sand. <laughs> and you notice a rune pop to life and fade on the floor. Pop. Ah. Wow, look, the rock did something. <laughs> Good job, Tenrir. Mm -hmm. Why don't I get a feeling that we're supposed to figure out that those flowers exploded before we got to the traps? I don't know why you think that at all, Joel. Sips whiskey. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, Death. that one was more advanced. Yay! This one had I more of a budget. They put the deadly one first. I do not get. And Kiana and Tenrir, as you get up to this point, you kind of hear shuffling. The end of the hall. Shuffling. Cannibal hold, hold up her hand, like... And it starts to smell a little bit. Like... Well, actually, Kiana would recognize the smell. It sort of smells like... Willow fell? What? That's the best way you could describe it, unless you want to give me further insight. Why? Does anyone else smell that? Yeah, <laughs> it smells, smells like something. <laughs> Like a like soil, like a plants. Life. Uh, uh, we also heard shuffling. This place yeah. is full of death. Be careful. Hmm. Can I turn on soul vision? Yeah. I'm just gonna like, generally scan. Yeah. So when you look in this direction. There's, like, over in this way, and over down here, there's a large mass of souls in either spot. Kind of, like, points it off in those two directions. Large amounts of souls, either side. 
All right, so be ready just in case we have to fight. Maybe. Is there more animal souls? More plant souls? More... Plant souls. It's mostly plants. Eh, alright. Probably explains the smell. Yeah, Probably. that's fair. Yeah. Although we're in the fire plant. Uh, hey, we have some dirt. <laughs> yeah, and that dirt is mixed with ash. <laughs> yes, ash is a very good, you know, thing for nutrients. Step. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know if I should trust this space here. What do you think, Kiana? I feel like there's a trap here. There's no uh, visible plant. No visible plants. I think we're okay. Mm. Come on. Tenor will go down on the ground and, like, try to crawl across the ground. You're ridiculous. Shimmy. Shimmy. You're, You're crawling, crawling, crawling on the ground? Yeah, he's shimmying on the ground. Okay. As you get oh, around dude. the corner, hiding oh, around I... the side of one of the pillars, you say something. Dart back into the darkness. Uh, nobody mm. went in here before us, did they? I mean, raise his hand. Do I count? No. Does, does soul count? No. It's just, it's just one skeleton, guys. It's just one skeleton. Could everyone please roll initiative? So Kiana, from around the corner, steps a skeleton. Wreathed inside of its bones are flowers and plants, hundreds of them, writhing masses. Oh, it's just one skeleton, guys! Oh, technically. Well, do not feel to stab it! I can see through that disguise. It makes us want to think that it's a plant. I can see that it's a skeleton, though. I think it's the other way around, Joel. And Kiana, um, the skeleton's eyes flash with a deep, dark, dangerous power. Can you please roll a wisdom save? A wisdom save? <laughs> Failed. Okay. Um, Kiana, you say all this like, yeah, it's just on skeletons, guys, and you fall to the floor unconscious. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> Um, Tenra, I'm gonna need you to make one as well. Tenra already on the gun, just like, oh no. <laughs> Alright, Tenra, you're immediately overcome by intense fear and want to sprint in the opposite direction. Right, around the corner. Comes crawling. Another one. That's just one skeleton! There's two! You notice the skeleton shove its hand into its rib cage and pull something out. Uh, it kind of looks at it and tosses it haphazardly to the ground, and you see a potion just kind of splash on the floor. Um, and then, Tenrir. Yeah? I'm gonna need you to make a constitution save, bud. Oh, uh -huh. alright, you pass it. Flowers start kind of weaving their way out of your- out of your arms, out of your skin! It feels like they're wrapping around your bones! Um, it just cast a spell called Blight Blossom on you. I don't like this! You're gonna take uh, 18 damage, and you're still horrified of this one over here. Oh my, well, things are getting out of hand. There's no way my damage list run ends here. <laughs> <laughs> Your damage list run at least, not mine! Okay, Uncle's gonna grow. Well, fly over there first, and then grow. Okay, Uncle's gonna pick up the one and swing it into the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so this is just gonna be like a grapple. Yeah, roll grapple against the first one. Oh my that god. That is a critical failure. I'm gonna have a response from it. This skeleton also had been reaching into itself to pull something out. Uh, yeah, the skeleton do definitely dodges out of the way. And up ends a, uh, a vial into its throat. It glows with, like, a light pink energy. Hearts pop out all over it. Um, and then it's gonna use an ability it has. And the hearts swap from it over to Solomon! <laughs> nope, tennis ninja! <laughs> uh, it is not a projectile. Mm. Rip. Oh boy. Uh, no, it is just simply swapping a spell effect from it to you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kiana is one, Tender is two, Joel is three, Chain is four, Brax is five, Pris is six. Roll a d6. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Can it be a d7 and there be a possibility that I fall in love with myself? <laughs> yeah, sure. Roll a d7. 
right. <laughs> Five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Abraxas. Abraxas. <laughs> Solomon, Abraxas is really attractive right now. <laughs> Solomon is so good, so good. Guys, hey, is, th is, th is this what attraction feels like? I'm enjoying it right now, but like, uh, fucking kill the thing. Uh, cause it does have the way. Yeah, you beat a Stacy. Uh, it fails the strength save, and is knocked backwards oh. into the rubble, and is gonna take 21 bludgeoning damage. Chain is gonna come forward, creep past Joel, and is gonna get down on the floor and just kinda pat Key on his shoulder and wake her up. Oh good, now I don't have to do that. <laughs> I mean, well you're in love with the Braxis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kiana, you get up, you're groggy. Something that skeleton did to you hit you. Bitch. Uh, this is what she does to wake you up. So, uh, the next charisma roll or spell save you make has advantage. Your negative power is removed, and if some spell is to target you, she may counterspell it. I'm gonna step through and I'm gonna holy blunder bust it. This one right <laughs> Shoot it, dude! <laughs> blow that, blow that, blow that there skeleton away. Pellets burst into the chest of the skeleton, scattering leaves and petals. Fire again! Yeah, both barrels. 18 Ooh, nice. more damage. Alright. Tenra, that's a scary ass skeleton. Yep! Just gotta stay on the ground. Crawl. <laughs> Crawl. Crawl. Ten, what are you doing? <laughs> Getting away from the problem. No. He's, he's gonna summon a Pris Spear and throw at it. Just get away. Line of sight is definitely not there. Yeah, he don't care right now. He's too scared. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Um, yeah. Joel, deck save. <laughs> okay. So this hits both Joel and the skeleton. <laughs> Sorry. Like hitless run. <laughs> You're hitless run. <laughs> It has been edited. So and also my Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Press is gonna stay back and hold out her hands and the ground underneath this skeleton here and Pris is going to cast Jaws of Creation. The floor underneath it is going to viciously latch out at this skeleton with cold iron. So it'll take 11 damage from the piercing uh, ice. Child, get, get up. I like the floor. The floor is nice. Give her a moment. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Big sword. You slash down on the skeleton and Abraxas. Uh oh. You feel a wash of flame and force as the shambler detonates, its whole body being laced with pop blossoms. Yeah, that makes sense. You're gonna get slammed back into Joel. Everyone within five feet of it will get slammed into the walls. Aunt Philly goes into this wall and takes ten. Abraxas takes twelve and is shoved back into Joel. <laughs> Joel is shoved back as well. Abraxas, you're gonna go at least fifteen feet over with Joel. You <laughs> get slammed up into Solomon's puppets. You land on Solomon. Solomon is enamored by Abraxas. <laughs> Solomon just closes his eye and smiles and is like, ah, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's his turn. <laughs> That's his whole turn? Okay. Yep. I don't know how I feel about this. This shambler that's up in the wall, Kiana, out of the floor, the super comfortable floor, it starts smelling really heavily like flowers, and your nose starts to sting as you feel your life essence being drained away. It uses its ability, Floral Scent in which it's going to suck away 15 health from you, and it's going to heal for half. On top of that, this spell, if there's another target within 5 feet of you, it bounces, and it can cast it again for free, so it's going to bounce to chain. It's going to chain to chain. It's going to it's chain to dead. chain. <laughs> um, but then it'll stop at her. Chain as well gets her life essence drained. Kiana, you're awake! How, how, how plant-like do we think these are? I would say very. It blows Ooh. up. We're gonna cast Blight! The thing about Blight. <laughs> yup. If you target a plant or creature, 
or a plant creature or a magical plant, it makes a saving throw with disadvantage. And the spell deals max damage. It fails it! That's max damage, which is, what are these, d8? 8, 8, 8, 64. <laughs> which is one more health than its max health. <laughs> Question, is this thing made out of multiple plants, and in theory, with that spell, could you target the pop blossoms to make them explode? It's made out of a ton of plants, yes. Okay. But it doesn't matter what you target, because yeah, it's, it explodes it's either way. And the detonation just simply is going to do another additional 14 damage to Philly. And poof. The skeleton explodes. Kiana doesn't even sit up. Is she just, like... Is effect gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, I'm like, Rex is gonna... <laughs> uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, she, she doesn't, she didn't move to cast the spell, she just like raised her hand and pointed. Does that thing even have a soul? Um, yeah, it would've. A bunch of plant souls. Okay, but does it, does it kind of just look like they're stitched together or something? Like a horrible abomination of plants turned into one being, yeah. Huh, weird. Did the other soul fade, or not? The other one would have, but this one did, didn't. What are those things called again? Shamblers. Shamblers. Did you get the soul? I got one. I'm good. Heal. <laughs> I only took... Okay, I did take 15. Is that what infatuation feels like? God, it's weird. Say so a is... What? Are these things, like, normally down in these dungeons? Uh... Things in dungeons typically vary upon what, you know, the dungeon's about. There was one that was uh, all about fire, salts, and all that stuff. So there was enemies that were like giant Salty. rock salt monsters. Hmm. Pris is just like flexing your hands. That worked really well. Well, I'm just saying, Abraxas, here you are laughing and just walking into traps. And maybe you go and get yourself blown up by a skeleton. Um, I did that on purpose. Uh, get off your high horse, Praxis. Taps the cold iron. just like, hold us up a uh, one second finger. Taps cold iron. Uses his aura sight to look at Pris just to be like, did she just... Yep. Um, Chain just pats the healing salve down on the wound of Kiana. Just like, is that better? It's, 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 it's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm alright. Just making sure. Are you okay? Mmm. Is something smelled after the plants? Um. Eh. She does like a wavy hand motion. With the light at it. You have to take care of yourself. I was going to say that to you. <laughs> <laughs> we should keep going. Cha, um. Uh. Uh, I did a magic! Is there even a way forward? Taps rubble. Seems like a bunch of rubble. Yeah. Then are you okay? Mm. Yep! You look I very scared. Fine. You shot. Puff cheeks. I'm fine! In your head. Are you shot? <laughs> I'm sure! Cha. I did. Aunt Filling is currently lodged into the wall slightly. <laughs> just like twitching. <laughs> Abraxas just like grabs like the part. It's just all right. One, two. Aunt Filling shrinks before you can reach three. Set it up! <laughs> it uncovers a pot that had something in it. Oh yeah, and Aunt Filling is suddenly holding an item. <laughs> yeah, Aunt Filling, you're holding a... um. A small box filled with popsicles. Pop Aunt Philly goes around and hands out delicious frozen treats. <laughs> All right. Solomon grabs it and says, How the fuck is this thing even still alive? I, it must be really cold to be down here. The box seems to be enchanted to keep them cold. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the sticks. Nope, it, the box. Before you... Those. What flavor are they? They're blue flavor. Ooh. <laughs> Before you eat uh, yes. the box. Blue flavor. Was that a loot table moment? It was a random potion table. This is a potion dungeon, my friends. 
hell are their potion sickles? They're potion okay. sickles. They do something. <laughs> Listen, before you go eating those, okay. it's already melting. Uh, yes, sir. Well, can you identify these? The pros on treats. It's a handphone. I am no yeah. ice cream maker, but I can try. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure they're not like frozen potions. Wait a moment, I say frozen potions. <laughs> she takes a look. I mean, they could be. <laughs> a practice just crumbling under his breath. Just this is all like the fucking salt dungeon all over again. No. I'm gonna give the popsicle to the fig tree, and I'm gonna have it put it into a few figs. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, Solomon, as you do this, you identify the pop the potion. Hell yeah. Um, what this potion does is the first person you see upon using it, you consider your mortal enemy for life. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. It's dribbling everywhere. I gotta eat it eventually. <laughs> that. Hey guys, no one eat this, but like, <laughs> give them here. I want as many of these figs as possible. Uh, they will <laughs> keep if we put them in the box. Oh yes, do that. Also, we could do a popsicle prank with these later. Five freezy pops Five. of mortal enemy. <laughs> I don't know if this would be a good prank or a bad prank. Let's give one to Virgil. No! Then Virgil would hate Virgil whatever Virgil already is. hates everybody. <laughs> Please. He does not. I just want to see if anything would change. I, <laughs> but it's for life, isn't it? Is it for life? See if it would be as it is. Oh, never mind. We're not doing that. <laughs> I mean, these are powerful. <laughs> I mean. Holy shit. Who likes ice cream? <laughs> Who do we- who do we not like who likes ice cream? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I know one person, but I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself. Morpha? Oh no. Are you okay. thinking Hachi? Two, two people! <laughs> Maybe. Two people! Maybe. God, do not give Hachi mortal enemy popsicles. <laughs> Can we feed it to Rivers and then show her a picture of the white worm? <laughs> <laughs> Wait Can a minute, we, we, we have somebody in a mirror. We have somebody trapped in a mirror that they can only look out of in one direction. Oh Don't we? Oh my god, stop! Somebody? Oh my god, what I was putting down. Put it in Yusuke's, uh... put it in Yusuke's tea, and then whenever someone comes to try and break him out, then he immediately hates them. Oh my god! Henry <laughs> in the background just like, guys, we're not. No, that's just. That's dishonorable! It, 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 it is. I will we can't. Do that to him. Who oh, cares about yeah. honor when it's so funny? It is really funny though. <laughs> might be if funny. you want to save that for better situations and making fun of the mirror man. Well, yeah. Here's an idea. Use that against Rivers and make her look at a mirror at herself. Oh, does that was Ooh. does that work? I don't know, does it work? I don't know, does it? <laughs> Are these, are just these secret suicide popsicles? Did we just find the best item in the game? <laughs> did we just find the se did we just find the season two egg? <laughs> <laughs> you might have, I don't know. It depends on how you use it. <laughs> how many how many popsicles did we get in that box? Five. One for everybody. Five. Okay. Five. Okay. One of them is currently a fig. Yeah. We give one to Knot and then put and then put a mirror up in front of him. No, no, even better. Give one to Knot and make him look at his wife. <laughs> they already hate each other. <laughs> I thought he loved her. Do you know what this means? We can finally make the crow useful. We can make him hate books. Oh you god! You feel something no. inside your arm, embarrassed, Kiana. <laughs> I think I called him out. <laughs> huh. Kiana, I think you were right, slightly. Look at this. Cold iron. Huh. Kiana opens her notebook. Yes, yes, <laughs> go back to her writing. Kiana turns backwards in her pages, makes a note. So what the hell was even down this path? It seems to just be a dead end. It's mm. rubble. Can you... yeah, okay. Mm. Chris is gonna run back and just be like, I have idea. Oh. Oh god, she's coming back. 
As everyone's like oh. starting to leave the hallway, Keanu's gonna try to break a piece of the cold iron off, even a little one. Okay, yeah, you do so. Cool. I was wondering what that uh, paintbrush was for. She comes up to the uh, the wall and just like knocks on it, like, "Can you hear me? Hello." Oh my yes. God. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Hi, Kanda. Kanda will knock back. She knocks. <laughs> oh my God. This goes on for as long as you entertain it. <laughs> <laughs> I entertain it for a minute and then I start walking. After a moment, she stops and runs back. So, the weird plant thing can possibly show the truth? So, does that mean Kiana needs to go back and look at the plant then? I'm gonna take out the plant, the, the giant mass of plant souls and just look through it. Aunt Philly is going to fly away and disappear for a while. Ah, uh, she's gonna get it, isn't she? Yep. You know. And is gonna bring him, bring back uh, one of the pitchers of the pitcher plant. Okay. With the lava inside. <clears throat> oh, fire drink. Fire drink. <laughs> Forbidden fruit juice. <laughs> the forbidden juicy juice. <laughs> All right, now what okay, are you doing with you say this? That there are, uh, you say that there are multiple colored panels on this door? Like four sandstone squares on it in an order. Uh, okay. Joel's going to bring over the paintbrush. Okay. Oh. And... Is going to try to use the paintbrush to paint on magma onto the tiles. It works flawlessly. Hell yeah. Nice job. Now, what are you going to paint? I'm just going to make sure that I get all the all the tiles covered. Okay, you cover all the tiles. Good job. It, your best guess is it's a combination. Oh, okay. Yeah, what so it thinking. wasn't for, like, revealing it. A hidden message. No, you just kind of like colored over in crayon on top of the combo <laughs> lock. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was like a code somewhere that we have to locate. Four squares, four pillars? Huh? Four yeah. squares, four pillars. There were four pillars back in that room. I'm gonna look at these pillars. Does it look like there would be uh, similarly sized panels where we might be able to reveal a hidden set of uh, numbers or characters or whatever. Doesn't really seem like it. Uh, I'm not just going to start pouring love on these things. Joel, if it reveals that which is hidden, what if there are books on that thing thing and we can't see them because they're hidden? Well, then they... Ooh, that'd be fun. Mm. Uh, do you really want to burn the thing? I'm only going to use just a bit of the magma at first, just to test the theory. Uh... Okay. Yeah, uh, let's... Trip a little bit. Can reveal any hidden books. Drip a little bit on the bookcase. Okay. Um, no. Yep, sorry. Nothing. Yeah. The only other thing I could think of is maybe that thing in the center. Because just... <sighs> Kiana saw the gibberish on the thing and... Well, unless we can reveal any more of that gibberish language. Uh... I have a question about this rubble. Yeah. Feeling around on the rubble, and like, can can I tell if it goes like really far, or if there's just like, um, if it's just like ten feet of rubble, or it seems like it's not huge. You probably would be able to dig through it. Okay. Ten rim. <laughs> or a dog. <sighs> I'm being summoned. One I need sec. Guevara! Uh, oh. Hey, Ted. Yep. Yeah. Uh, boop. She jumps into your head. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater. I also need a hug! <laughs> Step over. Did Kiana just feel she needs a hug? <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing if it makes her move faster. <laughs> hey, I have, a, I have a question. 
Are there any patterns, like, on these four different areas of staircase? No. That makes sense? Okay. Hmm. Damn. I don't think we'd be getting the code from the staircase. <laughs> yeah, well, who knows? I think that's a bit of a long shot. Hmm. <laughs> So is dribbling lava. On a Think about the rest of the dungeon. It should be something more obvious than that. Yeah. I'm here. And it might just be something that we haven't run into yet. Wait. Wait. Uh, Tally, how similar is this door thing uh, to the one that was hidden? Uh, similar in the fact that you probably can't get through it without the key. Okay, I think we can dig through this, and it's not too deep. Okay. Wanna see what's on the other side? You know that Kuvera doesn't leave holes, right? Yeah, but Kuvera's bigger and stronger than us and can move things faster. True. Uh, you might want to stand back then. Yep. Okay, buddy. I need your help a little. Doug! Kuvera kind of like looks at them and just. Kuvera! What? Nap! Sorry, bud. Uh, can you please break through that for us? Pointing to the wall, just looks over, looks back, leans down. Treat! Keanu pulls out a bit of Tusker meat. He immediately will devour it, <laughs> turn around, grow. So give him scratches. <laughs> big bean. Oh, oh big, big bean! bean. <laughs> grow, dog, grow. Kuvera's head hits the ceiling. Kuvera becomes Clifford, the big red dog. Oh, yep, he's reached maximum. Oh god. Maximum <laughs> Just fluffiness. watches like, I've never seen something that large. <laughs> yep, that's Kuvera for you. Is that how big he was when we first saw him? Where was yeah. He? Oh my god. <laughs> and he just turns around and just pushes into the freaking rubble, trying to move it forward with him. Boy. I'd say the job is that he will shrink down into Bean and then just... Bean! Jump and jump bean. into his valuable place in Keanu's bag. Yes! <laughs> bean! Puppy bag! It's Hold been on. so long since he beaned. There he is! <laughs> in his spot! <laughs> I should ask him, how belongs. is it Bean? Look at <laughs> uh, we should probably yell back. Uh, hey, Joel, we found another path! Sullivan, Praxis! Oh, lovely. Where's Pris? Hey, I'm in here to tell her. Uh, she decided she was gonna go back. She was kind of bored. She said this dungeon head. sucked. Hey! She's in your head. Okay. <laughs> Pris pops out and punches Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and uh, by the way, if anybody bumps into me, I am carrying a what they were seeing. Yeah, that's something that uh, no one should bump into. I love you too. Tell the dog. Kiana pulls out Kuvera and holds him in her hair hands. Bean dog. He busts up on the wall. He goes back into the bag. Kiana closes a book and puts it in her bag. How's it going, everybody? There it goes. We found stairs! I think there are spikes at the top. Um, yeah, you notice at the top, embedded in the wall, are iron spikes jutting out the side. Uh, Proceed with caution, look for flowers? Yeah, probably flowers. Yeah. Mm. Wait, Solomon! What? Don't you have Tennis Ninja? Yeah. Could you theoretically bounce a spell around the corner at whatever might be there? Well, yeah, but then Tennis Ninja would have to be in Danger's Way. Crap. We're not putting Tennis Ninja in Danger's Way right now. No, hell no. I like Tennis Ninja. He already died once. Can't just gently peer around the corner. Yeah. That's definitely not the alt button. You see a bunch of rubble at the top of a landing. We see what we see. I don't trust these next stairs. I don't either. Me neither. Kiana? Can I get a perception check? Oh god, I have low wisdom, Tally! Well, you're <laughs> in the front! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Kiana, <laughs> you hear the soft footfall. You hear a soft footfall on stone. The footfall. Shush! I can't speak, my face hurts. <laughs> Kiddo holds up a hand. Is it coming towards the stairs? Away from the stairs? Towards you. And Kiana, it's still coming. It seems to be about here now. Kiana will like... I'm gonna go clothesline it. Slink back and just go spread around the corner. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Kiana! Trip it! Trip it with a portal! Oh, I can do that, yeah! <laughs> I'll put a portal beneath its foot to trip it. <laughs> Skeleton falls on its face right in front of you! And <laughs> let's get this back up. <laughs> Time to roll some stuff, and now since you've seen these guys, I'll turn them off GM. Oh, there's four of them? Maybe. I mean, these spikes are going to be fun. We're going to start with something you can't see. I hope it's just a really big skeleton. Giggle it! Giggle it! <laughs> also, I really enjoy that all of these are skeletons so far, because I was like, it's probably a skeleton army! <laughs> I know! Talked about a skeleton party. Aunt Philly, it's your turn. Uh, Aunt Philly is going to fly back down the hall and place the lava pitcher plant into this urn. <laughs> <laughs> Good! Good idea! Yeah. Protect yeah. plant. Knowing that these yeah. things, knowing that these things explode. Abraxas? Oh, I'm right in front of it. Yes, you are. It's on the ground. It got tripped by Kiana. Yes, it stepped it's into the hole. <laughs> hey, I really don't want to blow this up here in front of you. So, uh, but if he were to grab and throw it with his attack, you want to grab throw and me? throw who? Kiana or the skeleton? The skeleton. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, no, throw it into the spikes. Into the spikes? Into the spikes or no? Up to you. Kiana yeah, says into the spikes. He'll throw it into spikes. Wham! <laughs> it takes 37 damage if it's as it's slammed into the spikes. Um, and the mishandling, we're gonna roll luck real quick. Seven. Okay, it doesn't explode. It's just kind of stuck in the spikes. Solomon? Well, I had one idea. And that idea was throw it into the spikes, so... <laughs> I'll give uh, you a pull moment. it out and throw it into the spikes again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, use the noose to pull it out and then back on? <laughs> I mean, I was gonna use the noose to put it uh, to pull it forward into it first. Um, so... uh, how about you throw it back up the stairs and hope there's more spikes or more shamblers? Oh my god. <laughs> Blind uh... bowling. Yes. Yeah, I could do that. Alright, I noose it. It is a noose, right? Yeah. So, it's a rope on me, so can I, um, for me, throw it, gets to the corner, and then wraps around? Ah, I see. So you want it to go something like a boom, boom, boom! <laughs> yeah. You hear a skeleton clatter in the distance. <laughs> um, you also hear the whir of, like, uh, fucking saw blades? <laughs> I think it was a trap! <laughs> Solid, did you just activate Spare Grinder V2? Maybe. Saw blades start coming down the sides of the entire hole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Are they coming uh, towards us? Yeah! <laughs> Run away! The other thing that I was gonna do was put up my, uh, my big shield thing, so... Okay, cool! Because these are coming shield along moment. the sides of the wall towards all of you. Um, if you want to put your shield up in front of everyone, I'll allow you yes, to block please. this attack. I I do shield in front. Because it's 15 feet, and this happens to be 15 feet hallway. Now, I'm going <laughs> to need you to roll with your puppets. Uh, what do you think would be good for resisting the power of this mechanism? Um... Because I'm going to give it a strength save. Escalation! No, you win. Um, no. okay. <laughs> Solomon, you're able to push please, the mechanism back. Please do not bring Ooh. escalations into poppers. Yeah. You're not going to. The mechanism goes back up the staircase. You hear it cut into a skeleton. <laughs> hey, does that up my retaliation thing? It does, by two. Ooh. You blocked oh, yeah. two attacks oh. with that. 
I'm going to take a uh, a fig of curing things, uh, and I'm going to store it in my puppet cheek. So if I get a potion effect thrown on me, I can just instantly cure it. What are your fucking hamsters? Smart. You hear it get up? <laughs> Creakily, slowly. Um, Is this the same one? Yeah, the same one. And it's going to use its bonus action to pull a potion from its ribcage. The shambler comes back into view, upends something into its mouth, and is going to swap its spell onto a Braxis. Oh god damn it. Oh no. Nothing really special happens. Abraxas, you just simply can't see colors anymore. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm literally blind. <laughs> <laughs> now it's gray instead of a light blue. <laughs> God, Kiana. Ah, I get to go. I get to do something. Yeah. We're gonna go here. Then we're gonna cast something. I'm gonna wind up a solo bomb and then <laughs> drop it through a portal next to my feet so that it lands here. Tick, tick. <laughs> Skeleton looks down. Boom! <laughs> oh my god. It's <laughs> one <laughs> I'm gonna roll the unstable part of its body though. Let's see if you blow it up by happenstance. Please. Nope, Please. it's still standing! Oh, damn. Something at the top of the stairs is going to pull out a potion. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's going to like, drink like something, and you hear something metal clank to the floor. Is it now metallic? Is it? Okay. Oh, is it uh, the metal cap? <laughs> you just use clang. Another one comes to the top of the staircase. There's two. And seeing you, Kiana, it's going to cast eye bite. Oh. Oh. Its oh, eyes no. go dark. And I'm gonna need oh, you to no. make a wisdom save, Kiana. Pray the Lord. Oh my god! You actually succeed. Okay, its eyes are inky black, but Kiana, you fell asleep once to this. You're not gonna fall for it again. Oh, that's what that was. That's what that was. Um. <laughs> Chain will come 30 feet up, stand next to Kiana. And is. Not on top. Not on Kiana. <laughs> next to Kiana. Yeah, and she's gonna cast Strangle Vine. A vine is going to appear through the floor behind this skeleton up here, and is going to attempt to grab it. So this one at the top of the staircase is grabbed up in Shane's vine. 11. 11 force damage as it's squeezed. Do I have sight on them if I'm great? here -ish. You have sight on this one. Uh, I could literally just throw something to make it explode. I could throw a bottle of beer at it. I could ricochet a bottle of beer at it. <laughs> You're gonna ricochet a bottle of beer at the yeah. plant. <laughs> okay. Try to make it blow up, you know. As you do. It provides softball. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that ignores cover, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It does not explode. You do three bludgeoning sure. damage, and the beer bottle ricochets if you want to bounce it to something else. Yeah, I'm right next to it. Okay, roll again. <laughs> and it does not explode either. Okay, you come up to there, click! You hear saw blades coming down the hall! <laughs> they round the corner, Dead Rear, coming right towards you! God damn it! Can I get a deck save from you, Chain, and Kiana? Bye! <laughs> Ooh, Kiana and Chain oh. fail, but Richard succeeds. Or, sorry, ten re succeeds. The consistency. Um, nice. Um, so Kiana and Chain take four, ten re takes two. Now it's gonna hit my big shield. They come up on the shield, shield, and if you know, uh, Chain's gonna be knocked backwards because of this into Kiana. And ten re would be. Yeah, ten is still in the spot, but, like, if you stop it here, it's gonna hit them again. Because it will go back up. You do not wow. stop it! Okay, it starts to push you back down the stairs with your puppet. Are we all can, just getting pushed can down I do the a, stairs can now? Can I do a let me help you with that? <laughs> yeah, sure, roll the help him with that. Oh, almost. Uh, it slows at least. It stops there. You're holding it back, but yeah. man, is it strong. Uh, Tenry, your turn is still going. That was just a trap. Yeah, Tenry's like, got that. 
really annoyed, kind of angry look on his face. He's just like, mm-hmm. One more step. Slams his blade into the ground. Die! And he's gonna cast Destructive Wave. Oh no. Tenry, you're gonna blow up, man. <laughs> Destructive Wave. Succeed two, two fucking crits. Crit. Fuck. So the one on the right is the non-crit, but the other two... Hmm. They don't explode, and they certainly take half damage. Um, okay, a destructive wave of energy pushes out of Tenru, rattling the bones. The bones have been rattled. <laughs> As a reaction to this, Richard. Uh, I believe this is a fuck. reaction. Oh. Yes, it is. Enteration 2, wow. The Shambler may swap one spell or effect from Atari to another. Uh, this one at the top of the stairs up here, yeah? Uh-huh. Um... <laughs> It swaps it over uh, and re-picks up its weapon. Tenru, you no longer know how to wield weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to do the sword anymore. <laughs> it's just like on the ground where you what stabbed you it mean? in. <laughs> I, I can't touch it. Hold on a moment. If you just pick it up, otherwise, I think I'm going to continue to strangle them. Okay. That's like a lovely idea. I feel like I should join you. If you want to, sure. Do you have a strangle spell? Do I have a strangle spell? Da 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 da, 40 feet. And another shambler comes into view and. Hey guys, there's four! Back up! Let's see, can it see Chen and Kiana? Yeah, it can. Let's do that. Yeah. Just barely. Okay. It is gonna cast. Floral Scent. It sucks the life essence from you and heals for half. If there's another target, it may recast it. Kiana had Serenity on her still, so Chain is going to just use that to nullify whatever's coming towards Kiana. Nice. Um, you no longer have the serene calm feeling, Kiana. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome back to Worry Town. Uh, Stranga? <laughs> Sounds like a lovely idea. Um, as its bonus action, it is going to pull out a potion. Uh, it pulls this one out and just immediately puts it right back in. <laughs> <laughs> Pris is going to jump up higher onto the stairs, and is going to stab her spear out towards this mechanism in an attempt to destroy it. Yes, please do that. Um, using her new repaired Markori spear. Yeah, okay, she hits it. She absolutely destroys half of the mechanism. Suddenly your shield becomes lopsided. You all rotate very slightly to the side as it just zooms on past you. <laughs> hey, when it gets to the bottom, can Aunt Philly destroy it since it's Aunt Philly's turn? Aunt Philly throws an urn full of lava at it. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, ten rare. Um, You just start to feel really like... Oh, uh, I don't know. Your your blood's boiling, but it doesn't normally boil that much. You take 20 necrotic damage. Oh! From somewhere. And you feel sluggish. Excessively sluggish. You are, for the time being, grappled and silenced. You can't cast spells. Now it's on Philly's turn. Are they trying to get back up to the battle? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Boy, what are you even doing? Like, yeah, Tenru doesn't know how to use his weapon. Doesn't know how to cast spells. Currently feels incredible pain and can't move. Um, <laughs> a lot of bad things happening to you, Tenru. Could Solomon just, as his reaction, just spit out the curing fig and hand it to Abraxas? I don't see why not. What do I do with this? Feed it to him. Feed it. Don't hit him with it. All right. Fine. <laughs> wow. Cleanses one negative effect, so you have to choose what negative effect you want to cleanse on him. The sword, the spell, the grapple, or the damage? Um, The damage? What do you mean the damage? There's a persistent damage effect on him. Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay. Tenru, your blood stops boiling. You don't feel incredible pain anymore. Thumbs up. Solomon. Let's see. I can't sense something weird on Tenru. Yeah. Protection puppet. 
Can I just kind of sh shove Ten back a little bit? Yeah, and put the shield down? Well, uh, you try and shove him back. He's not moving. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna step a little bit forward and put the shield down then. Sounds good. Fig. Feed. You're no longer grappled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tenry, you break free of something. Thumbs up again. And as you break free of the grapple, you can speak. Silas is gone too. I will kill them. This one's already grappled, right? Yeah, by yes. chain. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I'm going to try and grapple this one and yeah. throw it into the grappled one. Okay. That was, that was good. Team grapple on the stairs. And you slam it into the other one. It's going to take 12, and Chain's going to use her reaction to cast another spell because of this. <laughs> As you throw it into her strangle vine, she um, reflexively flexes her arms, and the vine turns razor sharp and straight as a needle. She's going to cast Heart Piercer. Oh. It pierces towards enemies, impaling all hit and dealing 3d8 in a 15-foot line. Both of them are grappled and are thus going to fail the save, so they both take 14. Oh god, are they going to explode? I don't know! That's why we're going to roll 2d20! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Nope! Wow! Uh, wow! Uh, this one's going to try and escape the grapple. Nope, fails it. Yeah! Okay. It detonates! Exploding! Detonating on this one, dealing 10 damage. This one detonates! Its corpse slams into the ground here. Click. At the top of the staircase, the last part of the thing comes down, slicing up the skeleton, <laughs> dealing duty 10. This one takes 16. It comes down the stairs towards you guys. Uh, shield oh, puppet. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> shield puppet. Can the one who I had a noose around, uh, can their soul be around the noose? Noose harvester. Oh, that's creepy. Oh god, guys, this could go poorly. Okay, that's your con save? Ooh, that's really yeah. good. Oh, you done. You done it. You stopped oh, yeah. the trap. You good done it. You good done it. You good done it. Can I go through the shield if I wanted to go up the stairs? Yep, there is currently a trap though slamming against this side of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's Keanu's just gonna say, fuck these guys. We're gonna cast Cone of Cold. Keanu unleashes a cone of cold, little tendrils of ice lashing into these shamblers on the stairs. The shamblers nice. stare in retaliation. This one at the top will pull something out of its chest as a bonus action. It drinks oh, no. it. For a moment, you notice the skeleton turn into a flower, and then it swaps with Kiana. Kiana, oh. what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal? Yep. Kiana's favorite animal would be hmm. a fox. A purple fox poofs onto the ground. Oh no, I'm a fox! <laughs> Kuvera <laughs> like the bag. And the bag lands on the ground. <laughs> the shambler's favorite animal was a big flower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna cast Blight Blossom on the fox. Although it would have been really funny uh, if the shambler okay. just turned into a dragon. I have spells back! Can I cast counter spell? He successfully counters the blight spell before he can hit Kiana Fox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I completely made up her favorite animal on the spot, by the way. Yeah, well, imagining a purple like fox with a baker's cap is great, so... <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Shane. Shane will make her way up the stairs, taking a position behind her vine, and she's gonna summon another strangle vine behind the one at the top of the stairs. Look at all those spikes just waiting to be used. Yeah. That's a critical um... failure. So a vine oh. appears behind it, and is unable to grab for it, but she creates another vine. Mm. This thing says something in the air. Can, can I fire you a fox? <laughs> 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 Imagine Kiana fox with like giant round glasses. It's adorable. It's so cute. It's so it's good. Really good. Like Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Kiana fox takes a turn to think things over. Uh, I don't think I can even reach the line of sight from where I was. Barely. Alright, Joel, well as you go there, before you get any further, you just feel your feet glued to the floor. What? Where? Right there, right where you are. Well, this is where I wanted to be, so I guess things just kind of worked out. 
you get silenced, and you can't cast spells, and you take 22 necrotic damage, and you're gonna shoot it? Yeah, it's a miss. That's a hit. Uh, yeah, Tenrir, you notice a similar thing that happened to you is happening to Joel right in front of your eyes! Thorn, you should probably give him a fig! Comes here, peeks around. Oh, oh she's a fox. Ooh, not gonna be happy about that. Um, <laughs> firebolt! Um, it is resistant to this type of damage, so it'll take half. Well, first and foremost, let's generate a potion. It drinks a potion! Steely gray, its arms elongate, turning into wickedly sharp blades! And it spins forward, slicing a chain! I don't like this! Slicing through her strangle vine, and hitting her with a slashing attack! Dealing 15 damage to her and causing a massive gash in the side. Pris will come up to the stair here, target Chen through the shield, and cast her wizard power on Chen. <gasps> Guarding warmth. Yay. Uh, they're resistant to fire, heal 1d8 at the start of each of their turns, and a blue symbol glows above her head. Chen heals for 4. Joel? You're gonna take 13 more necrotic damage. And your veins okay. feel like they're boiling. Aqua's gonna fly up to here mm -hmm. and pull a spike out of the wall. Uh, I'll have to use then. I'm probably gonna throw it up against this wall up here and try to ricochet it back at the skeleton. There is a perfect avenue right here that I could throw up against here and just do this. Oh, critical failure! Oh. <laughs> I got a funny idea since he's an idol on. Aunt Philly just wicks it back and pierces right through her practice's skull! <laughs> Roll a d10 plus 3! <laughs> I'm glad so I just a freaking idol on right now. I am not a unicorn. <laughs> I'm Philly Shrug somehow. Pushes past everyone. Just looks the same. You can take care of that one, right? I have it under control. I think it has swords now. <laughs> She's holding her side. That's fine. So then be prepared in case there's more chainsaws. Step Night. There's not. Yeah. You hear a click, but the current one is whirring right here. Cool. His first attack, he'll swing with his greatsword. And he looks back to Shane. Good. Then take care of it. And he's going to use his martial adaptability and use Commander's Strike. I'm foregoing one of my attacks so that Shane can make an attack against that one if she so pleases. Oh, that one specifically, yeah? Yeah. Uh, perfect. I get to do this? Cool. As you're doing this, you notice the strangle line from the top had crawled down the ground and come to the side over by her. A third one appears out of the ground. <laughs> and she is going to activate her ability. As her eyes glow green, all three of the vines skewer into this sword skeleton as she activates nature's wrath. Oh. Oh god. If she has three or more vines within ten feet of an enemy, this ability may be activated. Multi-attack six. If three or more of them hit, the enemy is stunned for one round. As she just starts beating the shit out of the skeleton! <laughs> First one hits. Nine. Eleven. The skeleton explodes! <laughs> Dealing ten damage and knocking her back against the shield. Good job. In like kind of a crumpled form, she just gives a thumbs up to Abraxas. Thumbs up back. The Kiana uh, Fox just like is watching. <laughs> <laughs> tilts, her hat, tilts his head. The hat falls off. Oh. <laughs> picks it up and puts it back on. There you go. That is how you use plants. Well, that was rather impressive. Hey, Pris, can you move over just a little bit? Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, not that way. The other what? way. What? More oh. center of the staircase. Upwards. N no. <laughs> Inwards. Inwards. <laughs> Inwards. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I bit. Okay, um, now because we all have this part, because there's no saw blade on that part, we can just kind of let that keep going. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, however, it does have a, a damage on the side, so it would hit all four, so uh, I would not let it keep coming. Let's noose that skeleton. You noose the skeleton. Yep. Into the strangle vines. Into the strangle vines. I still have four more attacks. <laughs> Please. Uh, um, 
Change ten feet away. Throw it where the yeah. other one was. Yeah. I can... Yeah. All right. I, I, I'll I'll uh, I'll pull it into these pack <sighs> by. Hmm. Thank you for the delivery. <laughs> the Phantom of the Stag motions over and says, "The stage is yours." <laughs> All three vines slam it into it at once. <laughs> <laughs> The other two hit, and it explodes. <laughs> Alright, and uh, with that, Big Tree and Solomon jump over and grab all three souls that are around that area. You got three more <laughs> souls of Shamblers. Am I no longer a fox? Kiana, you turn back into a person. You're no longer a fox. Can I wield sword again? Yep. Oh, yeah. Wait, Joel, do you still feel horrible? Joel is still can't speak and is still stuck to the floor. And is staring dead into a giant spinning saw blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Guys, we need to fix the jaw somehow. Big tree. I, yeah. Big, big tree just walks over and uh, feeds him a fig. So no more damage. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. See anything? I do see that desk. Mm -hmm. Um, I want a wizard power one of them to me. Is that my bonus action then? Yep. Actually, hold on. I don't see anything, so I'm gonna dash 30 feet. Fair. Okay. Then wizard power one of them to me once I get a good look at- Can I see them? Yeah. They seem to be water skins oh. filled with bubbling magenta liquid. There's two of them? Mm hmm one of them's different than the other. They're different shaped bottles. Okay. But they have the same liquid? Ah, it looks like it! That's your best guess! Okay. Uh, I'll... Wizard power one of them to me. Okay. I got a thing! Good job! <laughs> what kind of thing? It's a, it's a bottle! Huh. Have you drinking more mysterious liquids from this place? No! Maybe. Well, maybe we should turn it into a fig first. Maybe you should wait a moment. I'm not this, gonna do it yet. There's still something up with the sunglasses, man. Pokes Joel. Yeah, he's not moving. Hold on a moment. And she's gonna try and use Serenity on them and see yes. if she can't remove the effects of what is on him. And Joel, you start to feel a warm light passing through your body and... Whatever it is, disappears. Hmm. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to be staring into this spinning blade of death for the rest of my days. Yeah, speaking of which, can you move away from that? I, I am holding it back with my shield, but... I can do better than that. I'm going to attempt to break it with my two-handed great spatula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll attack. Oh, that's disadvantage. Wait, 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 wait. Can you sizzle it into the shield? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> and the spike trap breaks. Hell yeah! No more of those. The string of vines starts to subside. The magic seems to just kind of coalesce its way back into chain, and she just <sighs> sighs. How's everyone feeling after that? Yeah, I'm fine. A little lightheaded again. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around what that was. Okay. Where'd Kiara run off to? Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Um, hang on, Joel, before you go running off, um, uh, 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 Kiana, you hurt pretty bad? No! Okay, anyone that's hurt, gather around. Eh, no, I'm good. Chan already bandaging the wounds from the super spiky metal bladed one. <laughs> <laughs> As the magic like subsides, he's just like, okay, I think I did it right. How's it going? Cracks neck. Yes, that was um, hmm. feeling wonderful. Sweet. Well, that actually worked. Mm. Huh, thank, thank you. Well, I, I was considering just walking it off, but hey, Solomon, look at this cool bottle I found. Solomon goes over. It's bubbly. <laughs> the puppets approach. <laughs> the puppets approach. Tedru will grab Prince's head and just kind of hold it in like a. Ah. Mm. Hello. 
Is uh, hey. something okay? I just wanted to hold your hand. Oh. I'm gonna have. I have big trees right here. Can I uh, can I try and figure out what the potion is? Now you are at warm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, roll intelligence. Um, the one that Kiana is currently holding, uh, Solomon, seems to be one to change the color of your hair. <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's hair. It's instant hair dye. Grape soda. <laughs> and the one on the <laughs> <It's> nose. <laughs> I could be using. Some, I could use something to drink by now. Oh my god! Is Joel just gonna drink the one on the table? You're just gonna drink it, Joel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, you, 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 nothing happens immediately. Solomon looks uh, over at Joel. Uh, you know, as you speak, never, these as, things don't taste like they used to. As he speaks, everyone gets horrified as his voice is ten times as loud. <laughs> So Solomon, who has no eardrums for that to hurt, just puts his hand on his chin. Huh. Oh, interesting. Ow. She just falls on the floor and covers her ears. <laughs> Kiana being the closest to the control. Uh oh. don't look terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Being forced oh, down. Oh yeah, you guys have eardrums. Pris yelling, "What? What did you say?" <laughs> nah, like, never mind. Knocks her ear. <laughs> Does anything happen while Kiana's in dual Terra? Like any, or just um, we good? Oh, so, okay. Well, no, we're not good. I forgot about that. Um, uh, I shouldn't say anything. You shouldn't have, uh, Solomon. Uh, yeah. You get overwhelmingly paranoid. Ooh, ooh! I remember this feeling. Oh boy! Yeah, just ignore it. <laughs> the all the puppets go around Solomon. Solomon places the shield here, despite there being nothing <laughs> over there. Solomon, don't act on the paranoia. You guys, I figured it out. If I just talk ten times quieter, then like nobody will get hurt by like the absolute <laughs> amplitude of my voice. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Do you want me to come out, Solomon? Uh, well, seems like Joel has his ears under control. Yeah, how, how, I mean, how long, is, is how long do I need to talk like this? <laughs> I'm fine with the I'm fine with this weird feeling. Ooh. The paranoia. Yeah, that thing. Fear is weird. It's just weird. Welcome to my life. Oh, right, yeah, I'll come out. <laughs> I could fair is like oh. on the ground in front of Temi and Pris, like doing that cover the ears thing of like it hurts. The man talked. Uh. Come here, Bean. <laughs> Loud noise. I know. Mm. Tell this was here. I've got I've got a I've got a sweater in my bag. If you wanna go bury yourself in it. And he's back in the bag. <laughs> Hey, who wants to ha oh, hold the hair changer? Diana? That seems like want... something you'd want. I'm not gonna change my hair color. I don't want it to break and my hair color to be suddenly changed. Uh... You have no hair, take it. <laughs> How does that make sense? It won't change anything if it breaks and it gets on you. You have to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> and? <laughs> Solomon I glares and that puts on it me. in his pack. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tenry's doing that thing where you stroke the, like, goatee and just, like, imagining Pris with, like, different colored hairs. Okay, uh, I noticed this before, but w w what the fuck is this? It looks like blood. Um, looks at the yeah, ground, eyes go white. Oh, I was stepping on that. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, uh... Yes, that looks like blood. Do you have to do the voice whenever you talk through stag? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Uh, the victory goes, just like I ought to use a cowboy voice when I talk through this one. I see, you're, you're, you're evolving in your puppet tactics. Wait, what's the one for the, the, it, that one points to the like devourer? It nods. Ha, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so we got a hair changer. 
and a the booming voice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and a, in the hallway. We just, now we just have a hair changer. Fair enough. <laughs> well, also, wait, are those books or something on that thing against the wall, too? Are you going to go knowledge hunting? Knowledge! No. I can't stop the book. I don't stab the book. Stab the book. I will stab the book. <laughs> don't stab, no. Stab Bro. with your brain. <laughs> Headbutts the bookshelf. <laughs> no, oh, close okay. enough. Stab, stab it with your sight. No, no, no. Chris, kind of. Uh, hold her back a little bit. Uh, it's just a joke. It. I am not trying to stab books. Go okay, ahead. I was gonna say, stab it with your mental spear. Okay, my mental. I do not have mental spear. <laughs> It's a figure of expression, but okay. <laughs> a figure terrible. of speech. Yes, that. Sorry, I'm. Now I'm brain dead. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna put this there. Hashtag. Um. It steps out of the way. Mm, I don't know. More of the same. Nothing particularly interesting. Sweet. Just pockets more of the books. That yeah, he more didn't knowledge. Have the room. <laughs> more knowledge. Crow is gonna totally flip when he sees these. <clears throat> so I'm um, uh, not going to talk about the blood up against the wall over there. I feel no. like... I mean, unless you want to check for like something that might be hidden against the wall. By all means. Solomon taps the wall. It certainly has a wall. Hmm. I feel like whatever that is, it looks like it's splattered because something hit the wall, maybe? Or... Yeah, how does it Shane realizes where she's standing and steps out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Um, like maybe, maybe something got flung from the opposite hallway, motioning down here. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Claire walks over and tugs at this scotch. It's like this one's oddly all on its own. Just be able to look out for more of the pot flowers. I don't want to become a mosaic on the side of a tomb wall. <laughs> I really so like funny. how Joel is talking. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? I'm not going first. Uh, I will go first. No. What? Steps don't stop on looking. Trap. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Foot starts bleeding profusely. Steps back, holding in pain. <laughs> that is a hurt floor. Should, should I offer a fig? Brack walks oh. over. Oh, Brack! Brack's got it. See. She's like bouncing on one foot. <laughs> Gently smacks the back of her head and heals for sixteen. <laughs> 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 what did we learn? <clears throat> The floor hurts. No. Steps over yes. hurt floor. She's <laughs> <laughs> uh, learning. Uh, There's lots right? of pots. I'm stepping over it. Keanu's token's just there. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't approach that thing over there at the other hall. And that is oh, like a, a thing. large hole that in like the ground? That looks like a danger. Like a danger urn? That's a Boy. danger hole. That's a whole That's a wonderful danger. Press. Press, don't make me shout again. <laughs> Press, I'm standing in front of Joel. Please don't make him shout again. Oh, I'm sorry. I just did not try to go in the hole. I just... She points at it. Okay. It's hole. I'm gonna need to take five steps back in that hole. <laughs> yeah, take, uh, take a few steps. Just a few. Five. Is it just a hole? It's just a hole, yeah. In the ground? Mm hmm. What? Why? I don't understand. Is it like. It seems. Well. I don't want to assume anything, but it might be safe to approach. Do you want to look into the hole, Kiana? Can I, I shout down the hole? Can I. <laughs> Can Please don't! No. Shout down the hole! <laughs> oh, I feel like that would collapse the hole. Well, is it like a hole? Is it a brick hole? It's it's just a hole. It's just a goddamn hole. It's a goddamn hole. Down the hole. <laughs> Wait, can I turn on solar vision and look down the hole? There's nothing directly below the hole, though. 
Well, actually, hold on. There is something down into, like, the right. There's something down there. Looks like a plant soul. Another plant soul. Oh, boy. Just, just one? Remember. Just one. Just, just oh. one. Hmm. It's too dark to see, though. How deep is the hole? You don't know. Well, let's test it. Grabs, like, no. a piece of rock oh, and tosses oh, I mean. it down. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Solomon. It's, it's, um... Roll an inside check. Nice! Well, that's a hole. You heard the rock hit the ground! So, so, <laughs> I... so says, well, the rock hit the ground. That means something. I don't know. Can, that's your guys' job. Can I see if I know how far down it went? Oh, um, yeah, sure. <laughs> hole. <laughs> yeah, can that's you a hole! Henry walks up and he's just like, you guys, you did it wrong. Picks up a different rock, casts light on it, tosses it down the hole. Oh, yeah. Crookville incoming. Yeah, Crookville give, incoming. give me another roll at inside, and I'm gonna put light on this urn. Damn. <laughs> it's better than no one! Wow, yeah. you don't know how far down it is, but you certainly can see where it goes. Ah, uh, okay. It lands in the spikes, right on the skeleton who was impaled from before. For oh, oh, you know what? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Okay. So I was kind of right. So it was a bad idea to jump down the hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Wait, where's the cave then? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Wait a minute. Ten rear thought process. Hang on. Oh. Oh, it's back. Hello, Shane again. Hey. <laughs> I didn't me. Jumps over. Hey, I might need a brain over here. I've got a brain. You I don't, but I'll ex. go anyway. <laughs> I think we all have brains here, except for maybe the puppet. He points down at the thing on the ground. This looks like it's important, like a little bit of a possible idea for what might be put on that door in the four quadrants. Yeah, maybe. It's the same symbol from the entrance. Oh. So what does this blood splatter pattern look like? Uh, it's just blood splatter. It goes up to the wall. Hmm. But it doesn't look like someone was dragged. Ah, uh, you get an insight. Maybe skeleton blasted. Mm, Kiana, your best guess. You've seen people get pounded by Aunt Philly before. That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> someone got pounded? But, but like from a ball. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> From above. <laughs> Kiana's gonna look up. See the ceiling. There's nothing f funny about the ceiling. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. It's ten feet? Mm-hmm. Aunt Philly arrives carrying a plant full of lava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that thing again. Mm-hmm. What am I supposed to do with the lava? Uh, it reveals hidden things. Oh, uh, probably isn't gonna drizzle some down the side of the wall. Yeah. yeah. As it drizzles on the wall, it starts to reveal a drawing? A drawing of a pillar. Is it the wide pillar? It looks like a tall cylindrical serrated pillar. Like the ones you've seen in the hallways and out front. This looks like the pillars from this place. If there's a pillar on the wall, maybe something... Some part of a puzzle from before is related to the pillars. Yeah, probably. Mm. But which one? Well, the odd one out, maybe. Maybe. I guess the only way we can find out is to trial and error or something. Well, mm. I guess we should probably start with the one out in the in the, in the tomb area with all the yeah, the I caskets. agree. Maybe if we blow the pop flower, it'll blow part of the pillar. Maybe it'll Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. That makes sense. Yeah, that, make, that makes sense. Why did we do not think of that until now? Because we are smart. Hey, you come back to the main room. Wait, don't step on those. I see them. I'm aware. I will not pierce my foot. Alright, everybody, stand back. Aunt Philly's gonna wind up a throw and throw a piece of rubber, rubber, piece of rubber, a piece of rubble at the pop flower. 
Okay. The rubble collides with the pop flower and poof, in a cloud of sandstone, it explodes. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> What's that? Why do we pour lava on it? What, the pillar? Yeah. Can't be serious. We don't have that much. Okay, I guess pour lava on <laughs> where, the, where the pop flower was. Okay. That's you what you want to so. do. You do so. Nothing happens. Yeah. It's just a serrated pillar. Well, what do you reckon that we do with it? Put an ear to it and tap on it to see if it's hollow? It is not. Yeah, okay. Uh, probably nothing. Maybe one of the other ones then. And whatever, what other pillars have we seen? This seems like the most obvious one that was in the drawing. Oh, it, it seems to not be this one. Is there. Hmm. Okay, I wonder. I'm gonna test an idea. I'm just gonna go around looking. Okay, so, guys, um, there is a pillar there, but there is not a pillar there. Wait. Are you saying that we should bring over more lava and more lava in the area where the pillar should be? Maybe. Maybe just try like a drop or two, see if it gets on the pillar. Wait, uh, hang on. What about over here? There yeah. Should be a pillar here. Did that pillar get moved? Does it look like it's movable? Does it? <laughs> no. Damn. That's smart, Damn. but no. But that should have a pillar there, possibly, if basing it on. Mm. That one also doesn't have one. Then. Mm. I think you might be under something. Uh... Is there pillars here where there should not be pillars? Uh, either way, they are. Wait. Severed, wait yeah? a sec. Wait, wait a second. Are the pillars numbers that we have to paint on the four areas? We should look that, around. That could be it. How can a pillar be a number? How many pillars there are? Mm. Hey. You know that? Smart. All right, so my idea is that it goes like, if you look at the top, the top part, mm -hmm. this row is three, and that goes to the first one. Then this row is two, and then it goes to the second one. Do you think that like, this ancient civilization with this big-ass door is using, like, standard numerals, though? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if we look at uh, what they use for page numbers? Sure. So I want to try uh, three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, four. You input it, and the door opens. Well, the... okay, okay, okay. It was a lot simpler than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> well done, uh, discovering that. I was trying to say like, okay, okay. So you, if you organize these into like quadrants as you move <laughs> through, this is the order that they go in. <laughs> because you have the rubble pile there for us to be moving through this area in only one direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is why I, I did was, that. I was... Because it was top, bottom, top, bottom was why the rubble was there, so you didn't do it in the wrong order. Anyway, what you see in front of you is a very bright room with a massive red flower in the center. Oh, jeez. You good, Solomon? Can we stop yelling out numbers? Yep, you can stop yelling numbers now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or in Joel's case, whispering them. <laughs> You still do not get what you are doing. How did that open the door? Magic. Uh, it's Solomon. <laughs> it's just some puzzle nonsense. <laughs> I think it was very clever. Why, thank you. Yeah. You did well, Solomon. Thank you. Abraxas takes another sip from his water skin and just like, Man, you'd think people have never done a dungeon before. You know what, Braxis? A Braxis? I never actually have. Really? John, I don't know why. That's a lie, Chris. Technically, what? we did a dungeon. Yeah, no, the tower. They, the they left. We left. What? Oh, that's right. They, they did half a dungeon. Uh, for yeah. the record, I have never done a dungeon before, I saw. Uh, I would count what happened in your village as a dungeon. 
Same so energy. So it's not a dungeon. That was an attack. Yeah, that's what we call dungeons. Yep. No. Same Is energy. That so? This seems yeah, very wrong. Eh. We had to solve a puzzle to get through to certain people to save them. That's dungeon material. <laughs> we were stopping the entire village from dying. So there was no puzzle. Yeah, and in the in the other one, we were saving Abraxas from jail, and in the first one, we were stopping oh, does, all of us from Prison dying. Does Prison Riot count as a I, dungeon? That does Prison like Riot a dungeon. They actually had dungeons yeah, there. Like, yeah. Abraxas was in dungeon. Oh, uh, see, chain. Uh, basically, anything we do that's in a building is considered a dungeon. So the back area is a dungeon, then. <laughs> Yes. yes. Yes, it is. And you conquered that dungeon very well. <laughs> she fucking narrows her eyes. Right, why did I say yes to this? <laughs> <laughs> he points ahead because plants. Oh, right. <laughs> I was tempted to say something as Solomon, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> I was going to say it because Kiana. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you and Tenrir are on the same wavelength. <laughs> Abraxas is just being nice. He's gonna squidge by into the room though, so he gets filled with plants. <laughs> yeah. Um, Liker. And I will say, those with the olfactory senses would notice that this entire room gives off a wafting smell of corpse. Yeah, corpse flowers. I get yeah, it. I used to read all about them in my school books. Yep. I have come across some in my research. Corpse flowers? Really? Yes. Do huh. people die in the flowers? Nope, they just smell really bad. That's it. No, they just smell like death. Why do I feel like these flowers eat people? Chain's like leaning down and poking one of them and investigating it with their vibes. I'm, I wonder when I get to stop talking like this. Cause that this is like... the hot rock. She <laughs> points at the magma. Mm. I have no idea, Jill. Also, no. <laughs> Press. <laughs> ah, why are you so against it? It's fine. The last time you lost your pants. Oh, I did no ones. <laughs> You're not getting new ones if you burn these ones. Ah, fine. <laughs> oh god, I didn't think that was gonna work. You know, I could just buy Pris pants. No! <laughs> that doesn't teach her that she shouldn't just go into lava or magma. Pris, don't let him stop you. Mm, now Don't that you're care. seeing us, so <laughs> mid sentence gets cut off. Huh. And? Yes. I was going to say that they got suspicious because of what she said. Not going to do it. Oh. Let me out, okay. please. Okay. Mental hug. <laughs> Mental hugs. <laughs> Comes out actually hugging you. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what do you guys think is in here then? Says the flowers. Chen looks up, or well, doesn't look up, but just speaks up. It's still studying the plant. Says, seem to be made of, uh, like says, actual lava inside of the roots. I mean, yeah, we're in the fire plane. <clears throat> Unfilling why, why everybody's talking is going to fly up to the flower and pick up what's ever in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. Um, we're going to roll on the big fun loot table. Oh, oh the big fun fun. Ooh. You got something called a star diopside gem. Huh. A uh, hard, well, no. durable gemstone found in attractive colors that... Reflect star-shaped rays onto walls. What is oh. this, Jojo? So it's just a disco diamond. Okay. You got a disco diamond, and it's rather large, and it's worth a few hundred GP. Neat. I wonder if it has any like weird magical properties we could use. 
But that's kind of that's kind of cool that like these big lava flowers have like gemstones growing in them. Honestly, yeah, that's that's good flavor. So cool. Hey, so is there a key in here anywhere? That's what I was pondering. Not mm, that, that you can see. On Philly, yeah, really, there. Really, we have to reach into more lava. I was gonna say this this plant definitely, as you like grab that out of it, it kind of wiggles and moves around. Okay, flying straight up. <laughs> That's all it does. It seems like it's precariously perched atop of something. On top of something. The entire Ooh. plant on a key. I no, like the center of it has a hole in it. Guys, what if we have to go in the flower? Mm, the flower diving grabs ten sand. <laughs> Wait, what? Flower diving. How about I bring somebody up there with Aunt Lee to look into the flower before we dive into it? I want to dive into it then. If it's just safe. make sure it's not full of like deadly lava. <sighs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Who wants to ride the uh, Billy to look in the flower? You do it. God damn, you do it. Look in flower. Thank you for volunteering, Tenrir. <laughs> yeah, Ten. Don't worry. We'll make sure that uh, if you die, we'll make sure you get a proper funeral. Aunt Philly just unceremoniously just grabs you. <laughs> <laughs> Holds you horizontally and like brings you up to the flower. You're telling me I didn't get a funeral the first time? The first time we knew you were coming back. He looks out of the flower. It's a dark, empty pit. Well, should I lower you down or bring you back? Do I want to have a rock? It's dark and empty. I throw him a rock. Chris jumps up. <laughs> I am rock. Thank you, Pris. Pat's a pet. Careful, careful touching the flower, by the way. I don't like how it was waving around earlier. Pat's <laughs> flat on the rock that so it, 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 it. Seems, it seems like it's very precarious where it's perched right now. It really does. So I'm just going to lower you down as slowly and carefully as possible. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling... I, I'm, I'm trusting you that you won't get this to a kill. Uh, roll a d2, Duncan. As you start to lower down into... Sandy chamber. Mm. On a pedestal in the middle of the sandy chamber is the silver key. I don't like how there's a skeleton in the sand. Uh, it makes me think <laughs> quicksand, so I'll just gonna bring the two of them over onto what looks like solid ground. <laughs> okay. Also, I do see some lava over there in the corner. Chris is gonna yeah. jump off onto the solid ground and grab the key. <laughs> I'm feeling he's letting Tenor go. Tenor, you are free. That's a dive! As both you land, both Tenor and Pris, your feet stick to the floor. Oh no. Uh, are you. Are you two? <laughs> both of you take 21 necrotic damage. No, it's this again. Can't talk! And are effectively grappled. Kuvera peeks out of the bag. Master, no good! He jumps out. Grows a little, grabs Solomon in his mouth, then it's like, oh wait, need other one. Grabs no, wait, tree. you know, you can't just take the things. Are they physically anchored to the rock? Ah, oh, it feels like it. Aunt Philly catches the two of them before they hit the floor. Whee! Okay, Kuvara lands on Aunt Philly. He sees Chris and Tenrir just kind of stuck to the ground, unmoving. Kuvara immediately shoves figs in their mouths as quickly as he can. What status ailment are you removing? The grapple. The grapple, okay. Immediately you two can speak for but a moment. And move. Mm, bad floor! <laughs> Aunt Philly snags the both of them and is like, yep. <laughs> and heaves them back out to the plant. Look, I only got one more healing fig, so uh, if you guys can heal the other parts. Uh, and it'll drop them off with the rest. It felt like dying, but with through feet. <laughs> Dying, but with through feet. <laughs> yeah, like, that was the second time that happened, it felt like I got rooted. And, oh! Uh, and not in a good way, either. She rubs her foot. 
Gosh, you know, this makes me feel like this entire dungeon's alive and that it's a massive plant that we're trying to progressively go through. And that plant is what's capturing us. And when it does that to us, that it's sucking our life energy into itself. Chen just shakes her head. These plants say are not here to harm you. That is just conjecture. Hmm. I mean, those skeleton plants seemed pretty damn intelligent. Kifan was like just sitting there, popping his chest out proud. like, yes, yes, you did good. Good, good boy. Good dog, go Oh. Pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog. dog. Pet. <laughs> and then he goes back into the bag. <laughs> Bean. Kim Bean. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give Tenrir a fig. A healing oh, hi. fig. Oh thank god. You know, I never thought I'd be happy. To... No way, that's a lie. I'm always happy to eat food. So... so it was when you hit the floor or before you hit the floor? Uh we hit the floor, she got the key, and then we couldn't do anything. Maybe the rock is made of person, and that's why it smells like corpse. I have no idea. But, but, he picks up Chris. She's got a key. Haha. <laughs> Chris shows off the key. <laughs> so we can go back to the other door and open it, probably. Right, head on through and see what's on the other side. Is there anything else? That's not good to me. Down there? Ah. Uh, Skeleton Unfilly skull. did feel like it went down a branching pathway. Okay, Unfilly's just gonna fly back down. <laughs> <laughs> Unfilly, you go back down, and this room's a lot brighter. Oh, okay. You find a magmatic chamber. A small platform and a single shambler sits there, waiting. Unfilly, <laughs> Unfilly violently flips them off and flies back up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was nothing. <laughs> oh, weird. Uh, okay. Rip my trap. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. oh, God. Well, should we go uh, try to open the door then? Door. Door. Do you want to the key? Sure, I can open the door. You seem to be in front of the door. I am in front of the door. Hands <laughs> you the key. I'll open the door. Alright, and just like before, up at the top, the door swings open and the runes, one by one, go out. Open it up into a large hall in front of you. Yeah, I see that. I see that pot flower. You can't hide it from me. You know, I feel like this is one of those moments where the dungeon should just be like, da 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 What? Is there a reason for that? I don't think... I don't think I understand, Braxis. Uh, I think I'm just too used to the other dungeons. Some of them have music. Dungeons have nice. music? Some of them have music? Some of them have music? Sound effects? Yeah, there was one that was literally just sound effects. Every time you took a step, you heard something. Well, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of like how having ears works. <laughs> I'm not going first. I'll go uh, first. You're not going first. You're not going first. Grabs Tedri's hand. I will go first. Then pulls him along with her. I couldn't even touch him to heal him. God damn it! That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, safe. I'm a sort of safe. Hello, Solomon's Checking the ground. Hello. Hi. Howdy. Do you have to do the voice? Um, uh, yes. Yep. No. <laughs> I'm just literally just talking to you. <laughs> well, it's no fun if I don't do the voice. Count it takes Solomon's hat. Hey! Hat crawls out of your hands. Do we see these scary looking gargoyles? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Do they have souls? No, they don't. Okay. What in this room, do, what in, what is in this room that does have a soul? In this room that does have a soul? 
that flower. That's those flowers. Got Probably those all those there. flowers, yep. Anything else? That's all you see in the room. So we got doors on the other side right here. There's also an obvious dragon statue. Yes. There's a large <laughs> dragon statue at the end, yep. And beneath the dragon statue sits a wooden chest. Oh, that's uh, obviously trapped. Oh, yeah. Fucking garbage ass dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the statue will come to life. Maybe. I'm wondering why all these pop flowers are in the middle of this big sand pit. Uh, it seems to be a vase full of them. Hmm. Careful. Anybody want to do the honor of blowing up this one? Uh, Here, I got it. I'll cast Eldritch Blast. Actually, prepares to block any shards of pot. Oh wait, which one did you? I, I thought you were doing the right pillar. Here. Which one are you blowing up? This one. Oh, it is that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. I get three shots though, so I'll we'll do all of them. You're gonna do all of them? Yep. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> they all blow up. <laughs> Ah. Kiana, you get the um, cosmic sensation that you may have made an error. <laughs> I feel oh. like I did something. I don't know if I did the right thing. <laughs> mm. I... Mm. Mm. <laughs> we might have had to count those. <sighs> I think there were ten. Hmm? It was eight or ten. <laughs> it also made an earth shattering explosion. I'm just gonna mark. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab the vase and bring it over so we can estimate how big it was. <laughs> this is fine. We could probably find more pop flowers somewhere. Maybe. How about we check these rooms? Mm, something feels off about this room to me. You're telling me there's a piece of crap dragon on the other side of this room. No, said dragon. So yes. aggressive. Something else about it is not right. Yeah. Solomon's gonna not step on the sand. Is this the same? Wait a minute. Is the stone the same stone that was in the pit with the flower room? Like this stone right here. Um. Mm, no. Okay. It's actually the stuff you're standing on right now. The stuff that's oh, been throughout okay. the whole dungeon. Okay. Because huh. I have an idea that maybe what we've been stepping on is like some sort of like necrotic mineral that's in the uh, hmm. that's in the foundation of this building. Yeah, now you take a step into the sand. Uh, I'm trying to stay out of the sand as much as possible. I'm trying to stay out of it. Okay. Suddenly you notice that Chen just kind of puts her arms out. Seems to be trying to say something, but can't. Oh no. Guys. It's 19 Boy. necrotic damage. Uh, mm, okay. Um, I'm gonna take off the healing fig and toss it over. Catch. Hand. So it's like scratching and saying, like, Where is, where's your mouth? <laughs> That's a good point. She does have a mouth. It's underneath the face mask, near the chin area. It's uh, probably important to note that that was my last one. Okay, you feed her the fig. She's no longer grappled. She jumps back immediately, kind of stumbles into Pris, and just points at the ground. Says something in these stones. Yeah, Tenor has like already been drawing his sword and like tried to pry a part of the stone to see what's underneath. You pry apart the stone and. I don't see anything. Hey, Kiana, you good? I'm okay. Kiana's cool. good for all of a moment. And I can't talk? You can't talk. Yeah, well, and you're gonna fuck. take 13 necrotic damage. Uh, at least we're probably figuring out whatever this is fast. In the meantime, let's all get off of the ground. One sec. Yeah. Can I use a... Uh use one of the Phantom of Stag's nooses to hover over the ground. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <You're>... Yeah! 
<laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna spooky clown man this, yeah? I'm gonna spooky clown man. Henry, you're stuck to the floor. You take 13. He's gonna stab the ground with a pris spear. Stab the ground with a pris spear, okay? Um, make right. an attack roll at disadvantage. You stab it into the sand, it goes chunk. Abraxas, your feet are stuck to the ground. Fuck. Okay, uh... Aunt Philly's going to... He's going to scoop everybody up into the urn. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> who, who are you grabbing? Joel and Shane. Okay, you can grab Joel and Shane. I think Tenor was onto something over there. They're all stuck to the floor. I'm gonna turn on solo vision. Okay. Um, I assume, is there something directly below them? No, actually. No. You don't hmm. see anything. Uh, Abraxas, have you run into anything like this before? Abraxas can't speak, currently. Oh shoot, you got that too. 21 damage to Abraxas, Pris, Tenrir, and Kiana. Abraxas is gonna try and slam into the floor. The fist. Okay, you slam the ground, it hits the stone. There wasn't anything there to begin with. Henry thinks for a moment, and then he realizes, oh wait, maybe this would work. He tries to dual knock Terra into Pris. Tries to dual knock Terra into Pris. You're silenced. Currently, that counts as a spell. Fuck. Terror, I know this sounds kind of silly, but I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait for you to get knocked out. Whatever's doing this might be a predator. It might show itself to eat you after you get knocked unconscious. <laughs> Shakes his head vigorously. That is a terrible idea. Oh my god. Terror points at Solomon and nods. Abraxas looks at the ground, looks at Joel, moves, uh, motions for Joel to move, <laughs> and he's just gonna freaking unload Dragon Breath to where he doesn't hit Tanrir. I just see if that does anything. Uh -oh. Kuber like pokes his head out of the bag and just like, so, man, so, nah, yes. maybe save Kana. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, Kiana can't cast it, but I can. That is acceptable. Meanwhile, Kuvera jumps from her bag, trying to get into the urn. Okay, Kiana's dual knock Terra into Solomon. Kiana, the effects, whatever they were, are gone. Kuvera jumps into the urn. Hi. Hi there. You wanna get on, you wanna get on Aunt Philly? Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough time when I do, when you do, uh, fucking... Or do you uh, wanna just... If we had Unqua, I could fucking give you wings. But well, currently, I currently I'm suspended by a noose. You are suspended by a noose. Yeah, so I'm fine. If you want to just Good. pop out and then immediately pull out wings. Those that are currently oh. entangled take 19 more. I, hang on, hang on, oh, Tanner. Tanner. I, got, I got, I got just the thing. Joel's gonna try to use the two hundred great spatula to dislodge Tanner off the floor. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. All right, I'm gonna need an athletics from you, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> That's real funny. Okay, somehow, against all odds, this shouldn't have worked, but it fucking works, and you flip Tenrir up. He's still not really moving, and as you do it, like, bits and pieces of the ground shatter up and go up with him. Okay, you bring him back up to the urn. He's in the urn, and he's still silenced and unmoving. And yeah, you rip up part of the floor down here. Is there still <laughs> ground stuck to him? Yeah. <laughs> I'll stab that ground then that is okay. still stuck to him. Jane, I'm gonna try to not <laughs> knock off whatever Briggs left on his shoes. Uh, she can looks you do anything about him dying? I can keep him alive. That is about all I can do. And she will try to push some nature energy into him to keep him alive. <laughs> Yay. Well, so we'll start Tenrir. trying to like knock off little rocks on his boots. Tenrir will try to help. Okay. Solomon. Hi. Can you get to a spot where I can land on Abraxas' shoulders? <laughs> Slowly <laughs> noose hovers over. <laughs> very slowly. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna dual not un dual not care onto Brax. Oh my lord! Okay, you landed Brax's shoulder. <laughs> yes, that's what I was aiming for. Good. 
he pats her head and is like still stabbing the ground with the cane. So just like, hm, hm, hm. can I cast dispel magic on a Braxis? Yes. Doing it on a Braxis might be a bad idea since he's an Eidolon. Oh, fair. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, can I reach <laughs> Pris? Actually, I'll just pop out my wings and do it to Pris. Okay, you hover over and you're gonna dispel magic on Pris. Sounds good. Um, you <laughs> cast dispel magic on Pris, and you hear like a piercing scream and something with a wash of blue energy. You realize immediately because you're the magister of it. Something from the ethereal plane pops over into the material. Wrapping all the way around Pris's legs and rooting into the ground is a fiery red flower. Ghost flower. Ooh. It withers, pops, and dies. And Pris just steps back as fast as she can. Did that thing have a soul? It did. Ooh. I think you might have found your puppet. Okay. I mean, um, can can I can I attempt to pick up Pris? Uh, yeah, give me a strength. Off the ground. To pick her up. <laughs> she holds her hands up like, help! <laughs> I just want to get her on top of a Braxis. Yeah, yeah okay, a, you can probably do well. that. My strength isn't very good, we'll see. Oh, that's actually That's good enough for you. Um, especially with the wings helps. <laughs> creating a totem pole. Yes, I'm creating a totem pole. I don't want to dispel magic on a Braxis, because that's not a good idea. But... <laughs> ethereal plane you said uh-huh i'd like to go into the ethereal plane okay kiana well kiana disappears and kiana what you see in the ethereal plane is yeah nope. <laughs> oh, quite a few <laughs> and i can't affect things that are in the material plane i was just gonna cast cone of cold okay so i'll tell you immediately these are these are called the the burning lurker vines um and I think you just roasted all of them, because they're weak to cold damage. <laughs> That's a possibility. Yeah, they physically can't. Even if, even if they succeed, they die. They have 45 health. <laughs> one by one. Yep. Poof, 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 Solomon. You see souls. Everyone. Grab all the it's souls. Good. <laughs> oh my god. Big plant. Uh, I've seen this before. <laughs> I, like, I like the... Uh, Insinuation that plants can have ghosts. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no no other ones in the room. Nope, that was it. They all kind of swarmed cool, in on I'm you guys. Pop back in. The, the, not ethereal. Ow! I do the same. I don't stay in the ethereal plane. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up? They're all I figured dead. it out. What was that? That was a close call. Aunt yeah. Philip lowers everybody back down on the ground of the urn. There were some there were some plants in the ethereal plane. Solomon holds up six bottles. They're here now. Hops down and looks at the dead plants. Terry just slumps inside the urn just like Argh. These are gonna make some very fine specimens. Seeks her head in. And uh -huh. Why are you in pot? I'm in pain. Mm, do you need healing? Never. Yes. Lip punch. Lip punch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate when you use that. It hurts you. It is fine. It helps you more. <laughs> Back to the pack of tenders head, just like you should have known better and kiss him on his last eleven. And I'm officially out. Says you, you got caught by that too. You've been here before. Oh yeah, I never got this deep. Huh? Did you leave before you before because you thought it was too boring? No, we left because Soul got bored. <laughs> Couldn't get past the first room. No, we got past it. She just found it boring. It wasn't enough action. If you guys want to inside him, go ahead. I'd like to inside him. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, I'm ac I accidentally clicked. Dad. Uh, Duncan, you understand that, Dad. Um, either he's lying or he legit can't remember. You're not sure which. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that's fine. I understand. After you gone through a hundred some dungeons, they all start to kind of blend together. Yeah, they really do. Speaking of which, Chris starts uh, to Jules push Kenner gonna... around in the pot. <laughs> Jules is gonna knock the pot over. Like... Ah, don't touch this, my sleigh. Speaking Aww. of which, dungeons wait for nobody, Tenor. <laughs> it falls into the sand. It's just face in the sand, just. Mm. Uh, Joel's just gonna like friendly, like just pick him up. Uh, Thank you. You okay then? Yeah, I'll be good. <sighs> so on one side you see an incredibly elaborate door. In the center is an orb-like hole, and all around it are depictions of. What looks to be a kingly figure with large horns. <laughs> Jenner points out, hey look, it's me. No, <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's wrong. Why don't you be in here? You're in? I mean, I guess you are in here. <laughs> <laughs> and over here is a staircase leading down to another door. Eh, it was mainly a joke, kind of making the joke of, uh, Maybe this is a temple to a tiefling. Mm. By the way, um, Mr. Brax, he's... No. Who is this soul person? <sighs> I guess it's fine for me to tell you all, but, um, she was the first red tiefling I ran into. Hmm. You ran into more? Oh, I mean, you really think that Tenrir is the uh, only other tiefling I dealt with? Mm. I've been doing this for a few years. Is Chain carrying the corpse of the plant? Yes, she is. Has <laughs> <laughs> she been uh, yet? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah. To be uh, fair. Actually, before we go out of the uh, before we got out of the ethereal plane, can I say that I also took some? Yeah, sure. Cool, because uh, I want to use those materials yeah. in whatever puppet I make. Into this Tiana thing. also took absolutely a couple samples. They are really cool. Yeah. Really? I finally get to make a fire puppet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, no, Tenrir is not the only tiefling I've dealt with, and. Uh, Soul was the first of many. I can't tell you the exact number. Like Ehajiro says, once you've done so many, it sort of just kind of all meshes together. Kind of looks so we're trying to find Henry and then it abraxas. She lived uh, at that place that I took you all. Yeah. <laughs> All these dungeons, the hundred some odd we did. We were trying to find her a cure. Mm. Though, uh, looks like Joel's going after the chest already. <laughs> yeah, Joel, what are we doing? I'm totally gonna fly up to the head of the dragon statue and just, like, just tap on its nose. You tap on its nose and the fucking head of it crumples. This dragon statue just completely dissolves and falls down on top of the chest. It was made of ash. Huh. Whoops. Well, I um, guess Praxis will be happy with that. I am! That was an ash of a dragon. <laughs> oh, I see that, Pop Blossom. Hey, Abraxas, can you roll an intelligence save? Hmm. Ash. Something about that. It sets off your warning signals. You don't know why, but... Something about Ash. Seems wrong. That's not... Joel! Don't go near that. Something's not right. Uh... I know. Like, why would a, a big statue made entirely out of Ash no, be that... down here completely untouched? Kind of like rubs his head. No, that's not right. Something. Maybe it's something about the chest. Is it another mimic? I... Uh, hang on. 
closes his eyes and starts to like get in front of them and turns on his aura sight. Okay. To see if that thing is alive or if there's anything that he should notice or see. Not near the chest, no, not at all. Looks back at Joel. Joel shrugs. Something doesn't feel right. I just can't put my finger on it. Something involving Ash. Can Joel do an insight? Sure. I've been rolling good insights tonight, jeez. Yeah, you yeah. have. Hmm. Your guess is he might have learned something last time he was in this dungeon? And then he forgot. <laughs> it's been forever and a day. Well, maybe you can do something to help spark your memory. I didn't know forever was a measurable amount of time. Don't quite convince me. <sighs> Might be something involving Ash and breathing it in. Could possibly be something from here. Oh, everyone be careful of Ash-like things. Oh, right. Pretty much all of the arms in this place. Jane kind of pokes Ki on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? What is it? Have you seen this? The whole thing is this metaphor. It is like... Paper fire. <laughs> <laughs> Paper fire. What it Paper is? Paper fire? I do not know how to say it. It's like it's made of fire, but not like it feels like paper. <laughs> I I guess that doesn't. Okay, what? Bother me, or that doesn't surprise me anymore. <sighs> there, there's all it. sorts of <laughs> plants like that. Terry looks back. But guess the the big question is: Is it edible? No. no, I'm not going to try to eat it. Don't eat it. His tail <laughs> droops underneath the coat. And just like, oh. Chris looks back. I'll try some later. <laughs> no. No, it's going to end up like the stag again. Ah, why not these times? Why not these times? One of them. Okay, Abraxas, you get to the door. Uh, it's locked with runes like before. Uh, well, uh, I guess we gotta. I guess we got no choice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joel, why don't have Philly open it and we all stand a safe distance away? And put on a Philly in danger? I don't think so. <laughs> Fair. Does anyone have like Mage Hand or something? Come on, you're all I have mage students. Hand. I have Mage Hand. Then why haven't we been using that? Hmm. Because people, I mean, I learned it from Solomon, so. I think it is because of Braxis that they want to see what the dungeon has to offer. And this is what That's I want fair. to see. That's fair. Just kind of holds his breath, covering his mouth, just like, I don't trust it. I don't know what's up with this, but something. Joel is peeking at the chest from behind a pillar. <laughs> Kiana also peeking. Chain, having gotten a little bit of moxie at this point, is gonna walk up towards the chest! <laughs> she stops. Yes? Solomon shouts, don't die! That too, I was gonna say don't approach it, I can just open it from a distance. Is that just smarter? I felt like doing something dangerous for once. <laughs> Well, I mean, what if, you what want if to. the chest turns you into ash? I mean, if you think that that it's going to kill me, I guess I must step I don't think it's going to kill you. All right, so... Hey, Kiana, you should, keep, you should keep an eye on the ethereal plane. She walks forward. Kiana will pull out her goggles, put them on. Steps up onto the altar and opens the chest. And... Is there anything in the ethereal plane? No. Okay. Everyone's just really anxious. Um, <laughs> she's gonna roll a d978. Huh, she got an adventurer's robe. <laughs> designed for wizards. <laughs> oh, Which gives cool you 11 plus guard. dex, uh, 11 plus dex AC. As well as, it appears that it, um, gives you plus one bonuses versus petrification and polymorph rolls. <laughs> 
that's actually <laughs> useful for this. Does that make sure the AC better? It doesn't, but <laughs> she pulls out the rope. It is a magic rope in the box. Neat. Huh. Slings it over his shoulder. Dungeon loot. <laughs> Dungeon loot. Like the, the you know, I was the... thinking that for a party full of wizards, there aren't enough people wearing silly robes. I'm wearing a <laughs> robe in a way. I am wearing half of robe. Hey, a door. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. And a pot blossom. And a pot blossom. She walks Get back down. Oh wait, I did not see that. Oops. <laughs> Careful. Do you want me to explode the pot blossom? Do you want me to? I can. Rock, paper, scissors? Alright. Wait, okay. what are we doing? Um, are we rolling a d3? Roll a d3. <laughs> One is rock, two is paper, and three is scissors. Okay. Okay. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we tied! Go oh, again! No. Again! Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Rock to paper. I win. Okay, alright. <laughs> Eldritch play. Eldritch play. <laughs> I was gonna laugh if someone else just like shot it while they were doing rock paper scissors. Solomon totally. Could. I was tempted. <laughs> <laughs> while they're doing rock paper scissors, Solomon shoots it. That'd have been good. <laughs> All right, the pop blossom explodes to no particular fanfare. A practice in the background. Do, 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 do. Onward. Yes. That shot has bad music. <laughs> I, I tried my best, darn it. Is the door you locked? You did good given for not. what you had. It is heavy and metal. Thank you, Solomon. What kind of metal? Um, definitely a steel door, and underneath it is coming a very bright light. Hmm. Does it open toward me or away from me? It opens away from you. Okay. Should I go first? Should we prepare magic to throw spells just in case we see uh, another of those things? Actually, 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 ten, ten, back. Okay, backing up. I'm just gonna mage hand the door open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you open the door and I'm gonna move Kuvera there so you can see. Yay. Oh, oh. The hallway of lava. Spikes on the other side, and some sort of an urn at the end with a glowing silver object Ooh. in it. Ooh. Kiana, do you see any of those things in there? No. Okay. How far is it? Less than a dimension door. Less than a dimension door. Great. Wraps an arm around her. You want a dimension door? I mean, I was gonna <laughs> if you weren't. Hey, <laughs> <Eight> dimension doors. <laughs> Okay, where are you going? Right next to it. Okay. Woo! I miss Tenry and Kiara so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't see anything here, right? This isn't gonna no. blow up on us? Mm. No. Okay. Terry walks forward. If this goes horribly, grab me a dimension door. Alright. <laughs> he reaches for the object. Okay, you got a silver key. Hey, we got the key! Nice. I turn to Dimension Door? Yeah, unless we want to try to get over there a different way. Uh, nah. <laughs> Looks back at the spiky death room. Ah. Um, since you're gonna do it this way, I might as well. Um, the spiky death room slowly starts to, like, encroach on each other. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon looks in and goes, Oh no, whatever will you do? <laughs> no, no, it's not like they're just wizards and. <laughs> I, I legitimately don't know how I forgot about Dimension Door when making this. <laughs> no, this, is, this is fun. It fits in like we're going it through really the It really does. Way too over leveled. <laughs> it yeah. really does. It, it definitely fits with the theme. I completely forgot about it until we got to that part. I was just like, oh, wait. Okay, so you're going to Dimension Door back? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys made it back just in time! Oh man, I know, I know right? right? Chain like fake biting your nails. 
<laughs> man, it would have been like all for naught. Like, oh man, we got this key too. All for naught. Like, all for naught. Did not. I say all for naught? No, for naught. For naught. For naught. Wait, no. what happened? You, you were in danger. You didn't mention me. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Come on, 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 let me help, let me help, let me help. All right, no, not right now. You sure? Hey, Kiana. Yeah? Can I put the warm hand on her arm? I don't think it's hot enough. Oh, we can fix that, but I don't really want you to be in pain. Hey, Pris. Ta! Can you come touch my arm? Uh, no? <laughs> Goes and touches the arm? The sounds of nod in your head disappear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. That's actually rather effective. What did yeah. I do? You did Not good. Not was talking to me. Uh, warmth. He does not like warmth. Oh. Huh. Oh, that makes sense why he didn't show up at Beach Gate. Here. Yeah, uh, here. No he dot. No dot. No dot. Wait, you had he the key, key to chain? He's like, yeah, he's like, here. Uh, you, you had the balls to open the chest. I get a key privilege for opening a chest? Yeah, you're adventuring. Takes the key and walks forward with a little confidence. <laughs> Maybe I'm more emphasis. Better mentally to himself, and Prissy's just like, Yes, it's working. What did- what- what are you trying to do? Trying to give her a bit of a confidence boost and make her feel better about herself. Eh? It's working. I'm going to be honest, I did not even notice anything was off. Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> no, 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 it's really hard to, like, tell. She's kind of nervous and shy. Also, I kind of just know her because, you know, Levin spent so much time with her. Keanu will, before Shane opens the door, do the Christian side hug. <laughs> You're going to do the Christian side hug? <laughs> Bring that back! <laughs> oh look, it's the most awkward thing I have ever seen. And Hang I on. watched these two become a thing. Points at Press and Tenrir. Hang on, I, hey. I need to go watch the gif again. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not that awkward. It's no, actually, it's not, that awkward. it's not that awkward because she's not nervous. For one moment, she's not nervous. She just kind of smiles. Time. And unlocks the door. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I don't know if everyone knows this. Kane and Sh Sh Kane, Shane and Kiana are the same height. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow it's, they're the same. <laughs> it's so precious. They're the same oh, what? Height. <laughs> height. All right. Yeah. And also the background, like whenever Shane doesn't like shy away from it, all that stuff. Tender just does the yes motion, just like yes. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> Kiana says to Solomon in her head, Can you tell Tenry I can feel him fist pumping from here? <laughs> Look, looks, whispers to Tenry, She can feel you fist bumping from there. But I wasn't fist bumping. But do you want a fist bump? How do you feel that sure. through air? Fist bumps! <laughs> fist bumps! <laughs> <laughs> it's a. I feel like a trap. I love you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's a square chamber with Hang a pit of lava in the I... middle. Hang on, everybody. I think I saw a movie like this once. Don't go in. Joel's going to take off one of his shoes and throw it in. Kind of clinks into the room and you... Eh, just, like, kicks up a bunch of sand in the ground. Joel, how could you? Your dad attire. It's ruined! Oh, crap, you're right. A Braxis walks in and picks up the shoe. No, no, I got it. Oh, you got it. Mm. All right. Is that a door in the background? Yes, there's a door on the other side of the room. Mm. Let's see. Aunt Philly's gonna go around and start tapping on the stones to make sure none of them are loose. Hmm. Okay. And a Braxis is gonna stand such in a way that if the door tries to shut, he can grab and stop it. Sounds good. So the floor seems structurally sound? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. It just happens to be a pit of lava in the middle. Oh, well, that's weird. You guys don't think this is like another one of those things, like when we first met Hazel, and it's like, 
something is in that lava or it's a teleporting lava. What? You're not suggesting us jumping into the pit of lava, are you, Tenmir? No, but I'm <laughs> Billy could. That's exactly what you. I'm Billy could survive that, couldn't she? I mean, probably not for an extended period of time, but. Yeah, no, oh, it's no. just to test the waters. I feel like I'm gonna stick a finger in. <laughs> Into the lava? <laughs> okay. Just for a brief second. Yeah, it's certainly lava. Your finger starts to get very warm. Uh, I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare! <laughs> Shane like, backs dare. away as soon as you get close, like. No! Red hot on Phil's finger! <laughs> <laughs> you Anna holds up her arms. And I feel like that's badly. Strength save as the doors tries to close on you. <laughs> hold it! I feel he springs into action. And also helps hold. Damn, the door nice. the critical guess... failure. You. Ha! I guess I don't need to help. Okay. No, Aunt Philly helps, man. Yeah, Aunt Philly helps. Can Kiana try to chain the door and pull it? Open. Uh, uh, the the buff it. dad's got it. <laughs> yeah, well. Fucking nice, you two. The buff dads. What do we do? Mm, and I am supposed to sing since the door just closed on us. Buff dads and buff aunts. Yes. He'll step back out. Hmm. You know, I feel like that was supposed to be a trap that makes lava. Oh, room. I see what's going on. You see how oh, it's been it's slowly sand. filling with sand this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what do we do? Do we let the whole room fill with sand, or do we try to go and try to open that door first? Uh, okay, hang on. Everyone else stay out here. I was gonna say, I have the teleport abilities. This is fine, uh, Tenor runs No, in. I can put Ten out if he has problem. <laughs> also true. Try the door, is it locked? The door is locked. Okay, okay. Doors start locked. Smashing arms. Uh, yeah, he'll start checking urns quickly for like keys or such. Just don't breathe in any of that dust. He smashed uh, the urn. The there. There's nothing. Urn. The sand keeps dripping from the ceiling. He smashed the urn. There's nothing. Next nothing. Thing. Nothing. You go through. You smash all the urns. There's nothing in any of them. Crap! There's nothing. Uh, Pris, I think I feel he wants to go try to reach into the lava again. Do you got the door? I can hold the door. Go ahead. She'll swap out without Philly. Door just kind of woof okay. into her for a moment, then goes right back out as she pushes hard. Uh, I'm Philly's gonna reach down into the lava. <laughs> All right, Aunt Philly, you go into the lava. You turn red hot, <laughs> and you this feel a rock down there. There, there's something down there. Okay, go and grab it. <laughs> and as you pull out the key, the door stops straining, and the sand stops flowing. Oh, there falling. we go. Well, that's that. I was right. Ha ha. Oops, this is not. I'm trying the layers. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. Aunt Philly's going to grow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rocket punched through the door. <laughs> With the key? We have the With key. the key. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like that was a little overkill, but that was awesome overkill. On the other side, you see a glowing black ashen orb. And as you see this... It's ashen? <gasps> Abraxas. Spoiler. Uh -huh. You get a flashback. Oh. Standing back uh, to back. A flashback? A flashback. Standing <laughs> back to back God. on either side of this orb in the room. Many, many years ago. Stand two individuals. On, either, on all sides of the room, black ash starts billowing in and trapping them. I told you this wasn't a good place to go for this! Yeah, I... I should have listened. This is a bad idea. Don't Fuck this dungeon! Here. Fuck this dungeon! That's all I have to say! Fuck this dungeon! 
Yeah. No, that ain't got your thing. We, okay, you know what? Fuck it. We're getting out of here. You're not yep. complaining anymore. All right, you still got one of those left? Yeah. She licks arms. <laughs> Go for it. I have to play advantage with this dementia door. <laughs> oh. Oh, that. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Tenru, you wanna be a man? What? <laughs> 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 that was a breakfast. Tenru, go get the orb! Oh, no, no insight, insight, insight. <laughs> Abraxas is thinking, yeah, you know what? So, <laughs> Kiana, is Abraxas just trying to make Tenure do something manly? <laughs> Joel. Oh, hey, that's what the Ash probably was. Oh, wait. He's also kind of just assuming that Tenure would be fine if he just went in there and grabbed it and went into Pris. He doesn't know how it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tyra, go, go grab the orb. <laughs> okay, fine. You people are Please. horrible. <laughs> I feel like there's something wrong here. So do I, but I can put my finger on Let's it. Let's <laughs> wait and see if he notices that we're not following him. Solomon, what the fuck is going on? I can feel that you guys are seriously. Are you guys seriously gonna stay all the way back there? Press just looks over, it looks left, looks right. I mean, I am here to teleport if need to. Hold on, yeah. I'll come with. Alright, are you sure? Yes. Alright. This dark orb is giving off a oh, shadowy power, Tenry. Hmm. Well, I guess we just need to take it? Oh, I still got one of those left. I've got two. We should have left Kuvara behind, because I wouldn't be able to bring him with. Oh, fair, 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 fair. Hold on, hold on. Kuvera? Uh, press. Okay. Good boy. Back! Runs around the lava and all that stuff. Jumps up onto Pris's head. Hello, Kuvera. Hello. <laughs> Alright. Do you want to grab the orb or should I? Yeah, uh, they dared me to essentially, so. <laughs> Pris just a hand out and touches it. Hey, you grab the orb, you feel a dark, ancient energy inside of it. Hmm. You know, this really makes me feel like... Maybe we are releasing something from down in this dungeon. It doesn't seem like a presence, it just seems powerful, this orb. Okay. And you pick it up? Kind of... yeah. And as you pick it up, Tenrir, the entire room starts <laughs> to shake. And you hear, echoing throughout all the chambers, all of you. That sounds like a dragon. Ha! Yeah. Fuck you, asshole! That's definitely <laughs> a dragon. Do you, want to, do you still want to take it, or should we run? Mm. <laughs> uh, it could have just been an auditory hallucination. Chain, Pris, Abraxas, Joel. From the door at the end of the chamber, with the orb-shaped hole on it, you notice a dark smog start creeping underneath it. Oh, shit. That didn't happen last time. Hmm. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Terry's looking at that, I was like, I mean... I'm kind of part dragon, sort of, because dad raised me. So, um, kind of want to steal from this guy's horde, because fuck that's this not how That's not how genetics works. Shut up! You can't hear this! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is Elizabeth and Kiana. <laughs> Stop listening through my ears! It is a power we have, sorry. <laughs> Prince listens through dinner. <laughs> Seriously, this part is really cool. It feels awesome too. Like, touch this thing. Can't all take the orb. And the dust starts, or the, the the ash and the smog starts coming this way. Abraxas, you start remembering uh, what you and Tinsel uncovered here. This was seemingly an easy dungeon, designed to lure adventurers in to their death. 
for a being known only as the Ash Demon. <laughs> oh, that's right, Ash Demon. Oh, fuck, that's right, Ash Demon! <laughs> As what someone comes to the Ash wall Demon? and materializes in the main chamber. Oh. Hey, Ashy! I'm back, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> As it comes through, it lets out another... Hey, what? <laughs> Solomon looks back. Why are the ones made of wood in the front? I have no idea. Chain panicking sweats. I do not know. Let's change that. Pull Solomon back. Unfully <laughs> is preparing to choke slam this bitch. Hey, Kiana. Yeah. Will you hold this for me for a moment? Tosses her the orb. All right. <laughs> hey, Pris. Ta. Dual knock Terra. Unfully. Dual whack Terra. Dual <laughs> 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 That's beautiful! Double big! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this'll work perfectly for what I have in mind. That's that's actually too big. Hold on. <laughs> that is way too big. I was like, wait a minute. That's not colossal, that's gigantular. That gigantular? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. there he exists. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Let's roll initiative yeah. again for it. The Ash Demon is going to open up its mouth, and from it is going to spew a sooty cloud in the direction of Aunt Philly. Uh, Aunt Philly and everyone else over here... Can't say from both of you, please. Um, both of you take no damage, it's fine. Uh, however, a cloud of soot appears at your feet. Oh. Uh, shit. That's right. Then the ash demon will approach in its oops, its cloud of ash towards Aunt Philly, and it's going to Why pull are you out approaching Aunt Philly. <laughs> it's going to pull out two wickedly powerful sharp claws and slice into Aunt Philly. Oh. One, two, three. Aunt Philly takes... 70... 76? 76. 76. Uh, Joel could always... Uh, precise picture and shield puppet. <laughs> <laughs> do it, fucking Captain... Do it, Captain America! <laughs> oh my god. You could let the first one hit Aunt Philly and then teleport the shield for the second hit? To spread out the yeah. damage? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. At the same time, Aunt Philly, if you look up to the top... Something kicks open a vent alongside the chamber. Oh, we got imps. Oh, no. <laughs> a shambler <laughs> comes through oh, a vent. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's back. <laughs> He's back from the magma pit. And the shambler. Wacky potion time. Wacky potion time. Yeah, it, 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 it consumes something that looks like a fish filled with liquid. You don't know what it <laughs> ate, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be polymorph fish. Please don't be polymorph fish. Well, it just ate a fish for the time being, and it's gonna come down 40 feet over here. It's gonna shamble down. It, that's too close, my dude. <laughs> that's too close. Too close, my dude. Solomon. I wonder how much health this guy has. Yeah, good question. No one's hit it. Funny joke, it only has one health. <laughs> that would be Yo, but there's the any of them. That would be the most hilarious <laughs> boss fight I've ever oh, you, been you, a part of. You hit it and it just falls apart to ash. <laughs> <laughs> like the dragon. Yeah. Building up the entire time. That would be hilarious. I mean, it moved within five feet of Aunt Philly, so it might just fall apart in the ash in a second here. <laughs> Fair. Put away Big Tree for now and uh, bring out the main event. <laughs> the main, the main event. event! Yeah, it only needs to get in the doorway to uh, throw its hat. <laughs> oh, yes! It begins. <laughs> it begins. At the Soot Demon. Number two is Charm! <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's not immune to Charm Spell, so. <laughs> DC 19! DC 19 dex save to avoid getting hit? I think it's got this. It does 
does that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use a legendary assistance because I'm not letting him get charmed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I used up one of those though. Yeah, you did. Uh, That's good. That's one Hell down. Yeah. How many does it have? Probably three. Three, three or five. And it's three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and how many do we get down before Aunt Philly fries it? <laughs> if, uh, if the she if the shield puppet is just staying on Aunt Philly, is that a thing that it can do and put down the shield? How good is its grip? Um, and uh, this this thing right here, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> noose. Damn! It rips the noose off. Oh my! The puppet slaps you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that was great. What, you, you, know what, what did you said, whisper guys? to it? Yeah. He said, noose to see you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, somewhere else. Uh, roughly right here. Another vent opens. And another shambler shambles. God. Guys, I hear my shambling. It shambles into the dust cloud. You can barely make it out amongst the dust. And we're gonna do another. <laughs> it drinks a potion. Everybody, you know this Shambler! This is the most famous Shambler in the entire dungeon! It's Fuck. Shambleby Shambleton! It's really him! <laughs> it drank a potion to make itself more famous. Um. <laughs> oh, hey! No, wait. Away. wait! Wait, 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 can it, can it be, can it be famous because it's the one that we know from the trap room that Billy flipped off? Yes, it's the trap room one! It's back for revenge! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I feel like should have angered a celebrity. <laughs> oh god. I remembered that one. Tinsel did the same thing. There we go. It's 30 feet now. I'm gonna Hexblade's Curse that. That's my bonus action, the Ash Demon. Also 30 feet. We're gonna chain this bitch. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna try and chain it. Well, Kiana, you're gonna learn something about it by this. As it goes through the Ash Demon. It doesn't connect or collide with anything. This thing, it's... It's... It's immaterial. It can't be grappled. That makes sense. <laughs> can't connect, which doesn't mean it doesn't even do the damage, God damn it! Okay, Aunt Philly is just gonna kinda like... Scoot over with a shield puppet for a second. <laughs> uh, let's get up to here. Uh, Aunt Philly is just gonna like, for a second, go put some devil horns, you know? Just do a little bit of that, and then just prod the both of them. Uh, <laughs> Shambleby Shambleton and the Ash Demon with holy light. Because <laughs> it is two creatures within five feet. That hits the AC of Shamble. It fails. This is radiant damage. Mm-hmm. It takes double. <laughs> yeah! It takes 48. Poor Shambleby Shambleton. Poor Shambleby Shambleton. And uh, I'm gonna roll for explosion. Okay. It doesn't explode. <laughs> and uh, roll for uh, Ash Demon. It fails it. Takes 21. Ah, the... uh, you're doing this again. I see. Yes, uh, I'm doing it twice in a row. Dang. Uh, you know, if you stare directly into it, you could really get blinded by that light. Thankfully, I do not have eyes right now. So uh, for movement to move back in between the rest of the party and the Ash and the uh, Ash Demon. Okay. If uh, Shambleby Shambleton had an attack of opportunity, it'd use one, but it uh, really doesn't. It's not going to make <laughs> you more famous. <laughs> What's it going to do? Spook well, me. Spook me to death. Well, uh, hey, Pris. Cha. You know what time I think it is? I think I know what time it is. Let's do it, then. Unqua, and put the action. He grabs the flower out of his hair and kisses it. And it activates Tarankar. It's anime as hell, I love them. Oh boy. It's the real famous one. <sighs> also, this guy really doesn't have much health. Ew. To be fair, he is made of ash. Yeah, doesn't really have that good structure. As Tepris comes in <laughs> with the burst of flowers and such, they kind of smile and bow and just hello again everyone good to see all of you phantom of the stag bows back <laughs> such such a takes off its hat <laughs> oh, <sure>. oh. <laughs> oh not much just hanging around i think 
metaphorically speaking. I, uh, you know, I don't know what I should have expected with that. <laughs> right. Uh, anyone want to get closer? No. <laughs> Not <Cool>. particularly. <laughs> Why don't you move closer to us? I was gonna say, I could always get you into the air and, uh, we could spatula him. <laughs> it's a demon. Eh, fine. You're no fun. I am just, no fun. Don't worry. I'll take care of the shamblers. Oh, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't think I could breathe in the middle of that ash cloud. That's uh, fair. <laughs> Who needs to breathe? Exactly. Pulls out the flaming bow. He's gonna fire at that. <laughs> uh, What's it again? Shamble be shambling. Shamble be <laughs> Shambler be shambling. 15 fire damage to Shamble be Shambleton. Excuse me, let's roll to see if he explodes. Nope. Oh. Darn it. Shamble be Shambleton just <laughs> at you. Oh, screw you too. That's his, that's his favorite catchphrase. Wow. God, never meet your heroes. <laughs> Chain creeps forward. So we are actually fighting this horrifying monster. Yep. Yeah, hell yeah, we fought worse. You guys are insane, I love it! <laughs> you should have seen You should have seen when we fought a dragon. You should have seen when we fought the god. I do not know I think this is a slightly worse. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we actually fought a literal god. Half god. <sighs> Kiana's right. Half god. And there's something I've been working on. I feel like we peeked at the whole fighting a god thing. <laughs> I feel like we could go bigger. <laughs> We feel so too. Tempers bows. <laughs> um, Chain is going to close her eyes, and you'll notice a bunch of petals start to dance around her. And she is going to target the Ash Demon, and in a whirlwind of petals, uh, multiple different colors swirling around the Ash Demon. And she is going to force the Ash Demon, along with the puppet, unfortunately. <laughs> To make a charisma save or become blinded. Oh, and the Ash Christmas Demon just barely Christmas. succeeds. Puppet does oh, not. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think the puppet really cares. See, here's the beauty of it. Um, because Phantom of the Stag is just watching and so is Sideshow and Solomon, I don't need to see through it. Yeah, sounds good. She tries, <laughs> it fails. <laughs> she looks... Minorly defeated, but not too bad, honestly. Sideshow says, Very nice attempt. Oh, is that the voice you're using for that? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I use a creepy one like this? Why do you got so angry? I like it. Well, I mean, come on, look at these teeth. Got a point. <laughs> Tempris. I don't associate your rainbow teeth with creepy. <laughs> uh, do you want to take this one, Richard? No, 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 this one could be the press one. Okay, sounds good. Then I think it sounds fun to skip this, yeah? Okay. <laughs> and make your next turn stupid good? Oh god, yes. <laughs> so we're gonna lose a love. Okay. So Tempress hugs themselves and is going to take advantage on their next attack as well as give Abraxas a little inspir inspiring um, words. <laughs> You got this, you can do it. We believe in you. Very much. <laughs> oh, sappy kids. All right, I can't let him down now. And Abraxas, you notice as the face of the Ash Demon starts to get fiery, bright, and powerful with an incredible searing heat. And Philly is flying currently, yeah? Yep. The Ash Demon is going to duck underneath the shield puppet, lowering its head to the ground. This will miss the shield puppet in Philly, and it's going to use Flame Breath in an 80 foot cone, hitting everyone in this corridor. Now, a lot of you have fire resistance currently, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, except for Abraxas, he's immune. <laughs> Abraxas doesn't give a singular hoot about this. Alright, and I could always do a deck save with Onphilia to try to lower uh, Shield Puppet to at least block half as well. That's a good idea. Especially since this will knock out the... Solomon. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, let me start with Octomoo's next save. Yeah, if you beat the save as Philly, you did not. I think Solomon is just gonna flat out be knocked out. Can Breck try to block some of it so it might not hit Shane and Solomon? Yeah, he beats it! Alright. Abraxas, <sighs> I'm gonna make you take half. Okay. Even though you're fire immune, just the sheer force of this, the power yeah. damages you, just because you're blocking damage, and I'll half the damage to Solomon and Jane. Awesome. Everyone looks like they're taking 33. Oh, but Kuvera! He was in the pack, he just wanted to slip. He just want to slip, instead he get toast! Oh. He take full! <laughs> oh no, he toast! Not like it's matter for toast dog. <laughs> Okay, I just pop it out, just... Oh, warm! <laughs> Kill. We're gonna move on to another Shambler that comes out. Are you all okay back there? Not doing too hot. So terrible, terribly! It was so fire, I have none. So, it might be time for a cookout. The joke's on him. He grilled all these patties to a... perfect degree. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel a little well done. The Shambler eats a potion. You guys all here. Murder, kill, death, murder, kill, death, kill, death, murder, kill. Oh no. <laughs> is it vocalizing its inner thoughts? Yes! <laughs> Why wow. is it just acting like Tenry when he's really pissed off? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It can, it can swap this, yeah? Before I move it, turn off. <laughs> Who should we put this on? Who do we want to fuck with? If you put it on, if you put it on Tempest, then it's just gonna be like, ah, I love you, I love Kavera. you. Kavera, <laughs> put it on Kavera. Yeah, sure. It Kavera. swaps it over to Kavera. <laughs> oh, you're on a shit for Kavera. Kavera must now yell out all of its inner most thoughts. <laughs> Kill me, hate. The rage dog. So you're telling me the dog is the same as the skeleton great? <laughs> he was a being of rage. Is a being of rage. Maybe he'll make a rage. happy if he gets some good old hamburgers. <laughs> Joel's gonna oh. his, uh, tailgate, of course. Give everybody 60 healing. Joel starts throwing patties at everyone. <laughs> everyone heals 16. Magic patties. Uh, does this count for unfilling? Uh, it does. Cool. That everyone, like, patty. in an area? Mm-hmm. It's 50 feet from Joel. Cool. Yes. Yeah, I should probably move. Uh, I think being clustered together like this is a bad idea when it starts bad, advancing. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah. I'm gonna start scooting down this way. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay. Ready to beat the shit out of the sand Shambler. Uh, the Shambler's Shambler gonna go here. Let's see here. Does it- is it where- hmm. I'm Does gonna make- see me? <laughs> I'm gonna make an insight check for the Shambler on something else that I want to do, which seems really fun. <laughs> oh, no. And by fun, I just oh, no. mean mean, so let's do it. Um, Poor Shambler. Because the Shambler got a random potion effect, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. It drinks the potion. For a moment, the Shambler seems to go a little bit nuts, but then it goes away as it swaps the potion over to Kiana. Kiana, you oh, are no. no longer able to control your emotions. Uh, oh no. Anything you're looks feeling. At her hands. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you're feeling right now comes out and goes over the top. She looks at her hands. This is not that different. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my joke. Kuvera's <laughs> <laughs> like on her shoulder now. It just has this big creepy smile. Just kill. <laughs> Earlier when I rolled for who I fell in love with, if I got myself, I was just gonna say, actually, I feel basically the same. <laughs> Canada's just twiddling her fingers a little bit more. <laughs> oh, Canada, are you alright? I'm just a little worried. Is there anything we can help with? I mean, I, I, I think I got potion affected. Hmm. Huh? So it'll wear off eventually. Hmm. Well, what do you think, love? We could go stab the big demon? We could stab the big demon. Uh... <laughs> we could also do like we did to the god. 
I like all of these ideas. <laughs> Same. All right. And the Ash Demon. Oh, we're going to do this. All right. <laughs> Praxis is doing the bring it hand motion. Okay, the Ash Demon is first and foremost going to use its minor dash ability. Teleporting to any patch of ash in the room. Oh no. And it teleports here. Oh. Pushing a Braxis away, and then it vanishes and goes immaterial as it enters into the lungs of Tempris. Oh. Oh no. So, uh, that's a grapple check, Tempris. Yeah. I don't think we can even beat it. <laughs> I have a plus die if we crit. <laughs> that's about it. Go, ahead, right. go for uh, it. Nope. So close. So close. Damn. Okay. It deals 15 piercing damage, and the Ash Demon disappears from sight, and all of the smoke just wells up inside a Tempris. Tempris can no longer breathe or really speak. Black smoke starts to be like just spilling out of their mouth. It's your go, Richard. God, side of the smoke. Okay. What happened to the orb, by the way? Keanu's got it. Uh, so my idea is that it has something to do with that orb. Because it seemed to only get upset when we started interacting with it. Fair. Get up next to that one for now. Grab, throw into that one. Uh, dang it. That one. Okay, you're gonna try and chain reaction them both? Yeah. Ooh, that's real bad. But you do have advantage on your next attack, so you may roll again. Oh, shit. Yes, I forgot about that. So he hugged you. <laughs> um... Good hug. <laughs> Alright, the shambler fails. And flies into the other shambler. I'm gonna roll 2d20. Let's see if either of them blow up. Nope! <laughs> they just fall into a heap on each other. That's fine. Because she's they still have one more attack and um just mentally to themselves. Going to borrow one of your spears. Sounds good. <laughs> Throw a spear. <laughs> okay, you got multi-attack too on that. Who are you throwing in at? Uh the one that they threw. Oh, I see. Trying to scare them both? Yeah. <laughs> Shambly McShambleton is very nearly dead. Tempest, you're killing a famous person. <laughs> I think that's her turn, because her first uh, multi-attack was to grab and throw, second so was to throw a spear. Yep, that's fair. A Shambler shall come down. It's potion time. Oh, no. Oh, boy. My potion antics. <laughs> <laughs> the Shambler consumes a green liquid and then immediately climbs up this pillar to the top! Oh my god, did it get spider climb? No, it got the potion ability to climb trees with ease, but instead it's just gonna climb the pillar like it's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> what does that accomplish? Nothing! That's a good potion. That's a good potion. <laughs> Are these things just compelled to do whatever the potion dictates? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I mean, they, they're really eager to show off their ability. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm gonna noose the famous sham the, the famous shambler. Shambler be shambled. Shambler be ten shambleton. It's blowing up! <laughs> Woo! With a crushing detonation, shambler be shambleton explodes, detonating next to this one. We're gonna roll twice because of chain reaction. The other one does not blow up. Actually, it rolled two 13s. I'm so tempted. Uh, no, but it's gonna take 15 <laughs> force damage, and it's it... rocketed 50 feet this way. It's oh just God. going back and forth. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and since I, it had a noose on it, its soul was noosed. <laughs> <laughs> Slurp. That's, I love that ability. I think shield puppet's just gonna stay there on Aunt Philly. I'm gonna hat throw the one on the pillar. <laughs> No, not the tree club. I wanna, I wanna see what it, what happens with the hat of mysteries. Drunk. There it is. <laughs> oh no. The drunk ability. Time to, time to see. Don't make the this. one try to climb a pillar drunk. Oh god, it failed it. Okay, it's no, climbing no, the pillar. Now. It's climbing the pillar. It's it falls off the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink and climb, kids. <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> Thanks for the PSA so <laughs> That's so beautiful. And with Solomon's turn, uh, first of all, I'm going to move it to kind of back up. Mm -hmm. uh, Solomon's going to dual knock Terra Kiana. And dual knock yoink, Kiana. Yoink Kiana. You're dual knocking me? Yeah, I'm yoinking yeah. you over. Nice. Hey, Solomon. Also, yes. the orb falls to the floor and doink, doink, doinks down the stairs. Um, Kupera also joinks to the floor. You certainly sense the worry, but man, is it worse. Hmm. The fire is horrifying you, even though you've got a rune for it. Good potion. Good, good potion effect. Uh, I'm Kiana, get out of my head when you can. Uh, yeah. Is it really that bad? I prefer... In life or death, normally I'm all for the scientific purposes of experiencing emotions, but... Sparks. Ah! Okay, um... Yeah, <laughs> not in a life or death situation. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's I fine. It's not fine. bad. It's not that different. Exactly. Oh yeah, not 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 not. I'm gonna not, go love Pris after this. <laughs> oh no, you're doing it too. God damn it. I was just doing it to join in. Oh. Oh, lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Shut up. <laughs> go back to your corner. You neglected, neglected to build, to build, to build me a corner. You have a corner. I did build you a corner. I do not. I do not. I do not. I do not. Nah, I'm I get ignoring it. the. <laughs> I it all night. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Want some double deep fried skeletons? Hell yeah! <laughs> double deep fried skeleton. Nice. You go go right here. Uh, how would Unfilly really do this? Probably. Thumb and pinky? Thumb and pinky. I was thinking Aunt Philly would just take the index finger and just smash the one on the ground and just spin. <laughs> <laughs> smack it off of them. I like that. Double That's smile. Awesome. Nope. What is Double. this? What are these days? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let's see if it works better this time. Alright, we do it again? Alright. Nope. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, close. so close. It's three, two, and one. <laughs> oh. So... <laughs> oh. Hurting them real bad though, just by being there. Okay, it's Kiana's turn inside of Solomon's head. Does Kiana want to pop out? I want out. <laughs> I want out. I want out. I want out. I want to be free. Thank you. Freedom. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> There's a Better? spark from the fire. You don't scare me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that bad. Why do I feel like that now? There's just a spark right behind him that gets like right on his pant leg. Spark on pant leg, wipes it off. <laughs> I can, in fact, go back to where I was. <laughs> Kuvera's eyeing the ball. Just ball, 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 ball. It starts rolling out. <laughs> the only thing that can get Kuvera's mind off of him being a being of rage is ball. <laughs> Oh, uh, here's a question. Uh huh. Mm. Can I see ten person shower shadow? Mm hmm. Is ten person willing? <laughs> I don't know. Are we? I think ten person is always willing for a friend. Okay, Sounds cool. So. That means I with shadow stuff, I can teleport it up to sixty feet with to an ally shadow. Ooh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. That's awesome. I've never gotten a chance because everyone's been always real close when we do combo. Hello. <laughs> Waving hand. <laughs> off top. Where can you grab the ball? Ball. <laughs> um, you look over and just see tiny Kuwer chasing a very large ball. It's so good. <laughs> What's that a bonus what action, mean? Kiana? Yes, that's my bonus action. Okay. Do I still get my movement then? I think so. Okay. Here. No, I want I want to do this one. I'm gonna blight this one. Thank you for not picking on the jerk one. Yeah, that one has enough problems. Meets it. Oh wow. It. 
So it's still take 40. 40? Oh my goodness. Okay. It's on the last place. It's still leaks it. It's <laughs> it. Let's roll the D10. 30, 20. Nope, it's not oh, blowing up. I was really man. hoping it was gonna blow up. The plants inside of it start to wither from your dark, shadowy energy. Kiana, like, holds up her, her finger gun to her mouth and just goes. It doesn't the spell make, like, plant type creatures shy away from it in fear? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shame. Oh, wait, it has to make it with a disadvantage because it's a plant creature. Oh, you're right! Let's try again. Okay. Let's see if it's insta dead. Will it delete it? It, it delete it! Does delete us. <laughs> it explodes! <laughs> shield Puppet and Philly, you both take 15 forge damage. But the Shield Puppet blocks the knockback. Do you appreciate what I did there? She says this to Solomon. Shield Puppet gives a thumbs up. Thank Tempris you. literally choking gives four thumbs ups. <laughs> <laughs> And the two tenor arms go back to Huggy, like patting the back. It's just like trying to help cough it all up. Trying to cough it out. That's great. Are they gonna be? Good? Mm. All right. Uh, let's see here. Twenty-five. Thirty. <laughs> I love that you're saying it in a Braxis's voice. Of course, I'm saying it in a Braxis's voice. I love to imagine that's how he actually walks. Just like five. <laughs> Constantly um, counting out louder than <laughs> taking steps. <laughs> That's uh, good. Haven't done this in a while. Grabs the great sword off his back, chucks it at the shambler, trying to impale it. That is a dead on hit! It hits it right in the collarbone, actually, where that other one was hit. Ironic that. Let's see if it blows up. I'll blow up! And hey, Philly! Finish that one off! When one of these blows up, it's gonna be the hypest thing ever. Yeah. It really will be, and it'll be literally exactly the same as every other time it blows up. <laughs> Aunt Philly lifts up the pillar next to it and places it on top of it. <laughs> you... Skeleton smooch. <laughs> you lift up the pillar and put it back down on the skeleton? <laughs> yes. That's so cartoony and dumb, I can't not let it happen! <laughs> skeleton smooch. <laughs> you just hear a wet poof as the drug skeleton gets crushed under the pillar. The soul yes. seeps out from the bottom. <laughs> okay, uh, my hydraulic press YouTube channel. <laughs> Apraxis gives a thumbs up and it's just like, nice. That's his turn. Ball! <laughs> Yeah, Kuvara sees ball, runs after, tackles it, rolling with it probably, into the sand. Oh and just, just gnawing on it. Yes, this is good. This is where ball needs to go. Um, good dog cut. Um, <laughs> still <laughs> screaming on his inner thoughts because of the potion effect. Yeah, just still screaming, ball, 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 no, ball, no, ball. And I think Kiana's um, worry goes away, but the potion? I think that one was killed too. Oh yeah. No, no, cool. no, no. Kuvera's still doing it. Kuvera yeah, hasn't don't... realized the potion ended. That sounds good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nine at the ball. Looks at Kiana. Ball! Good! I can just gonna just turn there! <laughs> I love him! Nice. Alright. <laughs> Let's Funny see. Puppy. Okay, chain will come down. Tempress. Um, not, not directly in the fucking pillar. Um, she'll come over and she'll, like, pat Tempress's shoulder. I am going to try to remove the smoke from you. Is that alright? Nod. It might hurt. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> well, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> alright then. Um, Jane is going to. <laughs> <laughs> Vines are literally gonna tear their way through your lugs and push the smoke out. She is going to make a heart piercing strike at you. <laughs> if you Wait a minute, to... we still have the scorpion tail, don't we? That doesn't do that. Anyway, um, <laughs> if you choose to fail the. T <laughs> so this is what the clip was for. Why is that so funny? <laughs> Oh. Uh, you uh, start yes. to just cough. <laughs> you start to viciously cough up ash, <laughs> and 
a fiery being just kind of... All the ash just spreads out across the room again. And re rematerializes back over here. Tempest, you can breathe again. But as it exits, you take all of that damage from the Heart Piercer Strike. This 14. Oh. Oh, thank you. No problem, Finnegy and the fight. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to be any cause of alarm, but we're still kind of grouped up. Oh, that's okay. And that thing looks like it's just ready to use that fire Ash Steven looks towards everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's alright, Joel. Oh. Love, this thing might be a little bit more important right now. I think so. What is your thought? We should probably protect everyone. Sounds good to me. Um, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I think I am. Okay. Oh Tempress is gonna jump back into the corner. <laughs> 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 and putting four of their arms together, summons in a celestial wrath. <laughs> <laughs> Mining the envies think, of blue and red. I think cold fits this perfectly. Oh yeah, it's weak to cold. And everyone else is going to be everyone else that's an ally gains Starlight's Blessing. So let's put down Starlight's Blessing, which is this one. Everyone else heals for 12. All Yay! the allies that this hits. And all the enemies, which is the Ash Demon and this guy over here, are going to take 85 cold damage on a failed save. It succeeds, so it and it's weak to this, so it is going to take the full 85 damage. Nice. Um, it seems to I roar in pain. It. And if I failed that, it would have been basically dead. Kinda, <laughs> yeah. It still had some legendary resistances too, though. So I'm proud of him. Yeah. Did yeah. you already add out the HP to Shane? And the Shambler takes 85. It's down to one, and I did not add the HP to Shane. If you could, please. I got it. Thank you. Uh, it still doesn't blow up. It's just there with a Braxis' sword in its chest, shambling slowly forward. Oh, oh you approach me. No. The Ash Demon. The one HP skeleton. It's going to spit a cloud of ash behind a Braxis. Oh, come on, really? And it's going to teleport behind you. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of your teleporting behind me stuff. You did this last time. Everyone inside this cloud cannot see. Uh, it doesn't really affect the Braxis. However, the Ash Demon is then going to <laughs> take... Um, it's essentially going to just spin around, slicing at you with its sooty claws. Crit! Oh. 24 plus 18. Okay, second hit. Yep, that'll hit. Okay, and third hit. <laughs> that'll also hit. 39 and 34. Just oh. barely is gonna knock a Braxis down. Damn. Oh no. Brax, no. Oh! Fire! <laughs> Braxis Braxis. poops! Don't. Oh. Our Bracky boy. Oh, Bracky boy is gone. No, that wasn't very nice at all. You don't do that to friends. Don't do that to family either. Or dads, uh, for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joel. Actually, not the dad. Uh. Oh shoot! I'm not next on the dad hit list, am I? <laughs> oh the no! Thing turns towards you. <laughs> Protect. <laughs> Protect the dad. Protect the dad. Bomb. Uh, that's a stupendous idea, Kibera. Don't go to run for Kibera. <laughs> yeah! And gonna pick up Kibera with the ball. <laughs> and gonna throw it at the door. Nice! <laughs> Joel, roll improvised softball! Do I need to? Yeah, for accuracy, otherwise you'll miss the mechanism. Remember, Colby for accuracy, ye for distance. <laughs> Poor Brack. <laughs> so close. Okay, that's good enough. It yeah. clicks into the mechanism. 
<laughs> Kavara just yelps, just <laughs> and the door opens. <laughs> There we go, there's something. What the hell? I know that sprite. <laughs> Is Kafara falling on the ground on the stairs now? Yeah, the, the, the ball goes into the, with the door mechanism and vanishes and Kafara falls into the floor. <laughs> Plot twist that this is actually the tower of the, <laughs> the tower of the fire plane. Oh my god, that would be incredible. <laughs> you know, Pyra comes in. Oh, it looks enemies. like you cleared my tower. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're, you're honestly, honestly, Wesley, that would make too much sense at this point. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. Joel, what are you gonna throw with your second attack? Oh, yeah, I do have a second attack, don't I? Yes, you do. Throw Patty! Throw Patty at the fucking 1 HP hero! Get him! <laughs> the 1 HP hero, I can just barely make him out. I can see his 1 HP. <laughs> oh yeah, he does have 1 HP, doesn't he? Oh, I guess this is, I guess this is kind of easy pickings. I could also holy blunder bus and do damage to both of them. Blunder their bus. <laughs> I will. Oh! oh! Crit blunder bus. Ooh! You're really you blunder pop their it! Bus. It blows! <laughs> How much damage? Oh! The ash lot. demon bears down onto its, its like immaterial sooty legs towards Chain and Joel in a charging position. Does it see the pillar? <laughs> it doesn't care about the pillar. <laughs> hey, hey, Sally. What's up? Does it see the love in its way? What are you talking about? Are you gonna start like blessing one of them? Yeah, get in front of Chain. Sounds Protect good, because it's using this move. Creating a 50 foot line of choking ash. Yeah. I was just over here at the edge of the cloud, like, what the fuck is going on? And Aunt Philly just shrinks down to big size. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> avoids. <laughs> That's yeah. stupid, I love it. Okay. You missed. <laughs> Roll a con yeah. save, please, Tempress. Got it. Okay, so you're gonna take only 23 from the first hit, and then are you jumping to Joel as well? Yeah. Assuming Starlight on Joel. 27. Another 23 damage. As the mm. Ash Demon goes roaring past you. <coughs> to the end of the hall. Man. There it goes. Is it running? Bye. After it. Poor Brack. Poor I just Brack. imagine Heihachiro is just sitting outside the dungeon, just drinking, just like... <laughs> Chortle. Yeah, he's just like... <laughs> fucking nerd. He lost hey. to a one-star dungeon. <laughs> hey! I'm not as strong as I was back then. Mm-hmm. And technically... What I did you die to? A level one spider or a level three rat? <laughs> Oh, no, just the Ash Demon. Oh. No, that's actually serious shit. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I think this time, the Tenure Tempest turn will skip. Okay. Plus two love. Man, what do you, what do you think? Should we... <sighs> move speed should we... to catch up with it? Yeah, move speed. So plus 15 to its move, their move speed next turn. All right, Solomon. 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 Hey, Kiana, can you bring me to me? Um, bring me to you. The portal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come here. I think you're in range. Hold on. Are you in range? Yes. Just barely. Ew. Grab soul. This is a bunch of ash. Uh. Yeah, it's burning ash. Specifically, Joel and Chain. Can I just? put my strings on them and make them walk out of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you wait, uh, uh, <laughs> do you have your chain, or do you have strings on chain yet? I don't think I don't you do. do. Hey, chain, you can I move you me. out of this? Can I move you out of this ash? Yeah, I see no reason for not. Cool. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, what was that supposed to do? Oh, don't worry. That's just yes. how he does I move chain. Chain just like, Funk. yeah. Oh, that's just how Solomon does it. He needs consent first. Yeah, 
I'm not a monster. Mm. <laughs> Rubs her face. That was weird. Um, thanks, Ice Face. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? Shield on Aunt Philly is doing pretty well, so, uh... <laughs> it really is! <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is an incredibly powerful combo. It's a pretty the best tag combo. team. Fuck, now I'm just imagining Aunt Philly rocket punching with the shield on the front into it. Wait. Well, guess whose turn oh it is? Mm. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It puts on its hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh my we doing this? <laughs> Are we doing this? <laughs> we doing this? <laughs> it, oh my it god! It goes into unstoppable force form. <laughs> oh my god! Are I'll let you both this? roll attacks. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. That's a hit. They're both hits. <laughs> oh my god! Fails the strength save. Oh gets knocked. <laughs> And, along with the momentum, the spear goes into it! Eleven, Eleven and... Piercing, and... I'm gonna... Let's see... Uh, how many did it have in move logic? Four! I'm gonna spend all four of those! Yes! Forty-eight retaliation points! Seventeen additional damage. One That's attack, bad. and it's pinned against the wall by the intellect Demon, tester. be gone! <laughs> 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 oh my god, let's do it Fails! Takes 46! This is the fucking best combo ever! <laughs> oh my god! It's still barely alive! Kiana! <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That was the noise it made when it crashed against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sample okay. out for the video, it'll be great. I'm probably gonna kill this. Do it! Dual knock Solomon. <laughs> Dual knock Solomon? Best safety. Yeah. Dual knock Solomon. Coming in my head. Alright. We're gonna cast Icicle Glide. 23. 22. And it needs to deck save and. Wait, 22? Yeah. It physically can't survive this no matter what it does. Hell yeah. Rest in peace. Iron Wives broke. Rest in peace, over. big bitch. And with a coffinous. <laughs> <laughs> the Ash Demon. That's a really good voice mod, by the way. Turns That's really good. To Ash. <laughs> I can't wait soul. to hear it back because I don't really know how it sounds. Oh, it's so yeah. good. Tell yeah. me, does it have a soul? Yeah, yeah, it has a soul. <laughs> Solomon pops out and <laughs> he's ready. Fucking, yeah, ready. Pops <laughs> out of Kiana right where the soul is and oh, bottles he it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Lands good. on the ground, bottles it up. <laughs> Aunt, Aunt Philly lets out a bunch of steam uh, through some steam vents, and then does a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> can uh, can the intellect tester and Aunt Philly high five? <laughs> they do like a little like secret handshake thing. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tempris. Hug Joel. <laughs> I think at this point, Chain is still just staring in awe at what she's just witnessed over in the corner there! <laughs> Looks like, how you doing okay, Shane? Uh, no, I think I'm just, um, going to have to sink for a bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you need a hug? Uh, no, that is fine. <laughs> she holds up her hands. No, thank you, no, thank you. Hey, Tally. Mm? Tempris uses Starlight's blessing to get to Kiana. <laughs> Tempris appears hugging Kiana, I assume, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. You're really warm. Tempris hugs Kiana and Solomon, just like, Mmm, good at multi-attack, you two. That was really cool. I knew he wanted the soul, so I just kind of took him with me. Yeah, thanks for that. That was awesome. Oh, what kind of... What's the soul look like? Uh, holds it up. It's red. Ooh, uh, that. pretty. Spooky. Very spooky. Oh, you can see that, love. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun putting Oh, this I get it. <laughs> they just, like, put the hand on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> Nodding. <laughs> Could that 
turn into that thing Joel talked about from the Lord of the Rang? Are we getting a Balrog puppet up in here? <laughs> I'm totally down for a Balrog puppet. We have a puppet Balrog with a gun? Puppet. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I, I was, was going to turn it into my fire themed puppet, but. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, go ahead and do that. I, Just I give mean, it a gun. I also Just give have... it a gun. <laughs> also, can I just say, in that room that got open, everyone would just hear Kuvera screaming, Shiny! Shiny! Nom! Nom! Oh, I think he's getting into something again. Kuvera, don't eat that! <laughs> <laughs> Kuvera grows to his large size. Oh my god. Oh no. What's this even doing in here? What the heck? Is that- is that what I think it is? Kuvera's like, no, I get a core lighting. crystal. It's a medium-sized core crystal, but it's still a core crystal. Yeah. Joel says not to eat it. Kuvera picks it up and is like holding it in his mouth, just like, I'll do it. Just... What the hell is this doing here? Test of my patience, pooch. Uh, Trey! Fine. Joel takes off his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan takes out some Tusker meat that he stole from Kiyama's bag. I let you, I let you wear the hat for five minutes. If you... How would you steal that from my bag? Because I knew I was going to see Ki uh, to see Kuvera. Kuvera shrinks down, steals the freaking Tusker meat, hands the crystal to Joel, and immediately puts his head okay. in the hat. <laughs> it sits down like tail wagging happy. Why is there a core crystal? That's what I said. Huh. You know, Tenny did mention that maybe this was a temple. I think it's possible that that's just the reward for the dungeon. Hmm. Possible, too. Where'd they get one, though? Do you think that they knew the Magus? Hmm. Mm. This red I mean, you guys both sued at the same time. <laughs> did we? Nice. Yeah. I mean, that floor pattern kind of looks similar to the plane hopper symbol, doesn't it? Hmm. Whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Kiana oh. hugs Tempers again. <laughs> ah. Wait, can uh, can the crow finally get back to us? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck, I forgot! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe crow's beak flips open, Solomon. Oh, I just wanted to tell you that flower you found, they explode! <laughs> you know, thank you, though. We love you. Thanks, thanks, bro. You are welcome. Glad <laughs> that my wealth of knowledge could... And then it gets cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a group hug? All four tempers arms raised. <laughs> Story. So many good moments to get today. Guys. Oh my god, right? <laughs> we don't have <laughs> points to give out. I know! <laughs> I want to give a million points for Kuvera plus Ball! <laughs> <laughs> ball, 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 ball. <laughs> Fucking intellect tester plus combo. Aunt Philly combo oh, that's is so good. Combo. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying these, uh, this new batch of puppets you got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. I, uh, I'm excited to see what you make next with all of these fun, wacky souls you got from this place. Yeah.